I'll teach. I mean, I have a PhD in U.S. history. I have some credentials in it. I'll teach U.S. history. <laughs> and then I brought on other faculty that I trust. Jeff Herbener is associate editor of the Quarterly Journal of Austrian Economics. He teaches economics on the site. And for example, what I said to him, take the textbook. Oh, is that is that bumper music? You have done this before. Hang on, Tom. We'll uh, we'll <laughs> okay, bring I'll you. Wait. Sounds like it scared him. So, no, he's <laughs> professional at this. I mean, he does this thing. What do you do? Five shows a week with the uh, Tom Woods show. <laughs> That's right. All right. Stand by. More with Tom Woods here in moments. His website, TomWoods.com. We'll come back. It's Free Talk Live. So the protection of life, liberty, and property is, is what the Free State Project is all about. But it's an, it's an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a freer, great place to live. It's the world's largest voluntarist libertarian community and it's it's only getting bigger. That's amazing to be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do though is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas. There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it but here in New Hampshire people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com. 101reasonsfilm.com. Gold, it's like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the re-emergence of gold as the common-sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-223 for the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As good as gold can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800-686-2237. Do you need access to money? Do you need cash today? If you are receiving a structured settlement due to a lawsuit or you are receiving pension payments over a long period of time, the Money Settlement Hotline can get you instant funding now. With your cash today, you can pay off credit card debt, pay medical bills, fund your education, or improve your home. You don't need to wait. It's true. If you're receiving a structured settlement or pension payment spread out over time and you want a lump sum amount immediately, then you need to call now. They will turn your long-term structured settlement or pension payments into a lump sum larger cash payout, so you'll get all of your money instantly. If you have a structured settlement or pension and you want cash today, call the Money Settlement Hotline right now. 888-785-0616. 888-785-0616. 888-785-0616. That's 888-785-0616. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. When I found the Free State Project, I knew it was the key to achieving liberty in my lifetime. It's awesome to be surrounded by like-minded, freedom-loving activists who've moved here to New Hampshire. From politics to civil disobedience, we have it all. Where I came from, it felt that no matter what I did, liberty was dying. Perhaps you feel the same way? Call 888-377-2515 now to learn more about the Free State Project. That's 888-377-2515 or visit freestateproject.org. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can dial on in toll-free here at 855-450-FREE. 
That's 855-450-3733. We've got a website. You can visit it at your leisure and enjoy all the features there over at freetalklive.com. You want to grab archives of the show? Well, we've got them going back for, oh, almost a decade at this point. Almost. It's all there free over at freetalklive.com. So enjoy. We're on with another broadcaster slash podcaster, Tom Woods is on with us here tonight from TomWoods.com. The Tom Woods Show, you do this show five days a week, which is a, a pretty lo- a pretty high level of dedication to the libertarian podcast craft. Most uh, liberty-oriented podcasts are about once a week. Uh, how long have you been at that show, Tom? You've had uh, se- several hundred episodes. Is that a couple years or a few years? That's about a, it's it's going to be coming up on a year and a half, and I, okay. I take a couple weeks off at Christmas time to just to regain my strength, but... I try to vary the topics so that you really feel like you are becoming a smarter libertarian, more capable of defending yourself every single day. If I, let me just finish one thing I was saying before sure. I realized the bumper music was coming on. Uh, one of the things I wanted to do, because it has not been done before, is to take the, one of the most common textbooks that you would use in college if you were studying college economics – and have an Austrian go through and critique every single chapter <laughs> so that while you're sitting there, you'll know, okay, this stuff is good, but this stuff's a little screwy. There's nothing like that. So just to wrap up at Liberty Classroom, libertyclassroom.com is the website. I've got 12 courses up there in history, economics, philosophy, hardcore Austro-libertarian. Plus, you can ask all the questions you want, stuff like that. It's $99 a year, but I just did a coupon code. If you type in, you have only 24 hours to use it, but if in all caps you type it, type in FTL for Free Talk Live, FTL at LibertyClassroom.com, it'll be just 20 bucks. Jeez, this, hold up. Wait a none minute. None of this 99. It'll be 20 bucks. $99 down to 20 bucks just for typing in FTL within the next 24 hours. Yeah. At yeah. LibertyClassroom.com? Yeah. Yep, you betcha. All right, that's unbelievable. Do you have something for little kids? Because, I I mean, I, your coursework is, uh, from what I've seen uh, as the ads and that sort of thing, it, it looks like it's a little beyond, you know, say, the youngest it, kids. It's beyond the little kids, that's true. I mean, we have some homeschoolers who use it at the high school level and so on, but I work for the Ron Paul uh, homeschool program, and they've yes. got a – I mean, we're still finishing it up, but people are using what we do have now, and there is a lot of stuff for youngsters there. So that's ronpaulhomeschool.com. Uh, my friend named Connor Boyack has a really great new children's book series where he's got a children's book that teaches the themes from Bastiat's The Law and another oh, yes. book that teaches about eye pencil. Uh, that's uh, Tuttle Twins. Tuttle Twins, that's, that's the name of it, yeah. Very cool. The um, And, and – the the promo code that he just gave out if if you're listening at home I, you have to go check this out because one of the things that I love about Tom is that he he managed to maintain this like sort of air of respectability that I certainly have a great deal of trouble maintaining but he's as radical as anybody I've yeah. ever met <laughs> and I I just I think that uh, to to sign up for a year of economics and history from Tom Woods uh, is a is a good education for anybody who would like to better articulate really hardcore radical libertarian positions and we need Good more of man, that Chris, thank you <laughs> so tom when we were on uh when you were interviewing me on your show and it was great i really enjoyed being on by the way and it sounded like you know you hadn't heard a lot of the stories that i was telling from up here in new hampshire and it seemed very intriguing to you where are you anyway are you in ohio where are you at oh uh, i well i'll tell you as long as you promise to ask why am i here yes that I'm would not, be my next question <laughs> i'm not answering um, we actually live in Topeka, Kansas, uh-huh. but we we are actually um, probably going to relocate sometime in the next couple of years. But Ooh. we haven't broken that to the children yet, so you know, mum's the word. Uh, hopefully, they're not listening live or later That's on. Right. Uh, That's right. so, so okay, so but they're home they're homeschooled kids, obviously. So it's, um, I mean, imagine they have like uh, like a, Play a homeschool stuff. group kind of thing with other friends. Well, I mean, there is. I'm sure there is a homeschool group here, but we actually uh, don't homeschool them. And oh, the really? main reason for that is that my wife's health has been extremely erratic. Oh, and so our that. household has just not been stable enough to uh, permit homeschooling. I jumped so, to the conclusion. I apologize. So what? No, it's perfectly you? okay. But, but, the next, but we do the next best thing. I mean, they go to such an outstanding uh, private school that every year when the high school portion is teaching the great ideas course – 
and they get to classical liberalism, they have me come in and teach that <laughs> class. Wow. So, neat. of course, I'm teaching classical liberalism, but I'm basically teaching hardcore Rothbard Hoppe to those kids. <laughs> That's awesome. That's a cool opportunity. Yeah. So so then would, uh, would it be fair to say that you are assessing potential destinations as far as where to go? Oh, here it comes. The I hard see where close. you're going with this. <laughs> Good Lord, Ian. Yeah, we are. We are. But I, I'm i not sure that New Hampshire has quite everything that the family needs. I mean, I as an individual would love to be there for a lot of reasons, for some of the reasons you mentioned and the camaraderie and all that would be really great for me. But I'm no. not quite sure it has everything we really need. But, so, we, but you know, we haven't ruled anything out at this point. So if you wouldn't mind, um, I, now I'm not intimately familiar with this stuff because I don't really have a family besides the family of wonderful activists that I'm around all the time. Uh, but Mark, you do have a family. And wasn't there news within the last year that New Hampshire was named like the number one place to raise a family? It's something like that. It's, it, it, it has I believe it was number some one. accolade like yeah. that. But I mean, I, I don't know what the specifics are. It depends on your family. So, so yeah, that's what I was going to say. What, uh, what sort of things are you looking for, Tom? Well, I mean, I need them to be educated in a way that I don't have to deprogram them every day. And that's right. almost an impossible expectation. You know, yep. I mean, almost anywhere they're going to be propagandized. And as I say, we're not physically capable of, of, of the homeschool option for, for these reasons that we just can't avoid. So I have to consider that. Aren't there, uh, Mark, aren't there free staters in the Manchester area who are running a, a school, private school? They are, but I mean, I don't know what, I don't know how far along they are in that sort of, that sort of thing. So okay. I couldn't tell you. Yeah. So there okay. are right. people who are who are obviously. I mean, there's a lot of families moving here, and I, you know, obviously I'm not in intimately familiar with a lot of that stuff, and I'm actually surprised, Mark, you don't know more about it. I don't live in um, Manchester. Well, I would <laughs> figure you guys talk, but you know, there's don't people... go to Manchester anyway, Tom. I'll tell you what, just come to Keene. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> drop the kids off at my place. I'll pop in a Ron Paul DVD and go edit some video, and they could just go r run rampant with it, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I mean. I, I think Keen might be a bit of strong drink for them at this age. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, I'm fascinated. Sounds like uh, your daughter's ready for it. <laughs> By the, uh, by the opportunity, because I think there is no better place for people who love liberty, and I think that includes people with families. There are a lot of families who are moving here, and Mark, I think you can at least testify to that. There are a number of families uh, coming into the area, oh, yeah, not, it's... not just in Keene, but all across New Hampshire. I think the infrastructure is being built yeah. for uh, liberty families, but I would you know, I would personally like to see it more robust than it is today, but well, I we think it's even, being let's, built. Let's point out that the Free State Project hasn't even officially begun the yeah, move sure. yet. Uh, I mean, so we have 1,600 people here as part of the Free State Project, uh, plus others who are not part of the Free State Project, like Chris Cantwell. Uh, so all kinds of liberty-oriented folks are uh, are moving up here, and they're bringing their families in a lot of cases with them. So I hope you'll keep an open mind at the very least, Tom, and uh, hopefully we'll see you back at the Liberty Forum. When are you coming back up to uh, to visit? Well, as soon as I get invited, I'd, I'd be glad to go. If we ever did settle there, I would settle more in the southern part of the state because I have yeah. family and some old friends across the border in Massachusetts, and I'd love to be able to have access to, you know, just to talk old times and, and rekindle old friendships if I ever got back up there. Well, consider it's an invitation. Uh, the Liberty Forum's coming up first weekend in March this year. It's going to be moving, and they're moving from Nashua, where it was previously, to Manchester, to the biggest hotel in New Hampshire, so it's it's moving on up in the world, and of Sounds course you can go good. to nhlibertyforum.com. Check out Tom Woods on his website, tomwoods.com, libertyclassroom.com. Use code FTL and knock a bunch of money off. Did you know by age 50, half of all men have an enlarged prostate? This means more urges to urinate, longer bathroom trips, waking at night to urinate, or issues with sex. If this sounds familiar, call us now. Because we're shipping free bottles of Super Beta Prostate to listeners of this station. Super Beta Prostate is a non-prescription formula guaranteed to reduce the symptoms of your enlarged prostate. It's yours free. Pay only shipping and handling. Just call 1-800-467-5090. In clinical trials, the ingredient in Super Beta Prostate was shown to reduce urges to urinate, improve bladder emptying, reduce waking at night to urinate, and improve quality of life. This Super Beta Prostate Free offer is for listeners of this station, but it won't last. Don't wait. Just call 1-800-467-5090. That's 1-800-467-5090. Call 1-800-467-5090.
Free Press Publications is an independent, alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary on the website fpp.cc, as well as a daily five-minute newscast, FPP Radio News, and weekly news, views, and commentary in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com, and the monthly newspaper, FPP News at news.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at FPP.cc. That's FPP.cc. As in Creative Commons. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Lil Drums. Every bit as fun as a full-size Nestle drumstick cone and definitely cuter. Visit us at drumstick.com. Vacations are all about family time, but you don't have to leave home to have fun. Take one weekend a month and devote it to family activities. Pull out the board games and puzzles, serve up some treats, or have a picnic. Even without leaving home, you'll feel like you've really had some time away. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on doing the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. You can help by joining the AMP program for just $5 a month at amp.freetalklive.com and getting perks. That's amp.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the best liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air, and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can dial on in toll-free and bring up whatever you want. You can also join us on Skype. That's how we had Tom Woods on the show a few moments ago. And you can sound as a lot better usually than being on the phone by joining us via Skype at username lrn.fm. With you in studio, you've got me, Ian. Cantwell. And Mark. And don't forget to join us uh, online at freetalklive.com. ExpressCoin, is the, it's the best choice for getting your cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Dogecoin. It's fast, safe, easy, and inexpensive. They're a licensed money services business, and you can get your cryptocurrencies with a money order, a check, a wire transfer, or you can make a deposit at a local credit union that has shared banking. I think that's the, the easiest way to do it, and the ways that I've gone about it is you just go to a local credit union, you call ahead and let them know, find out whether or not they, uh, they have shared branching. You'll need to know that. And if they do, then you can just go there and make a deposit into an account. And within uh, one business day, you can get your cryptocurrencies delivered to you, right to your wallet uh, on your computer or smartphone. You just start off at ExpressCoin.com. Whether you're in the U.S. or Canada, it's ExpressCoin.com. You can even do it from your smartphone by downloading the app. They've got that over at ExpressCoin.com, too. If you use coupon code FTL, you can get up to $40 worth of your cryptocurrency with no fee at all. So the first $40 of, uh, you know, you do less than $40 in a purchase, use coupon code FTL, you pay no fee. It's ExpressCoin.com, coupon code FTL. That's like a billion Dogecoin. <laughs> it's a lot of them. <laughs> all right, let's continue with your calls and thoughts uh, still to come here tonight. 
We've got a disturbing story that Mark has about a poop inspection at elementary school. This could be your kid's elementary school. We'll uh, tell you more about that on the way. Plus, Chris Cantwell goes to Concord. That's that what, was a lot of fun today. That's man. what happened. It's hard to have fun in uh, when you're in the state house, but you managed today, Chris Cantwell. <laughs> we'll talk more about that. Uh, plus, the latest on the Silk Road trial of Ross Ulbricht in Manhattan. It continued today. But first, we go uh, way across the pond, in this case to Cameroon, Africa, where Akko is on the line. Akko, welcome to Free Talk Live. Hello, Ian. Happy to be on the show again. Yes, yeah, great to have you here. You're on with uh, with me and Chris and Mark, and you're calling from, uh, I presume, Bamenda tonight? Yes, I'm calling from Bamenda, 40 kilometers from my hometown, Dub. Well, welcome back, uh, Akko. What was it that you wanted to share with our audience this evening? Uh, last week, I wanted to be on the show. I came to Bamenda I didn't have a proper accommodation. I was bitten by the mosquito. I had some malaria. So I oh, had no. to rush back home. <laughs> so what do I you do about back. malaria? Like, how do you treat malaria? Yeah, like, I hear I got some malaria, and I'm like, <laughs> oh, my God, this is the worst thing that could possibly happen, and now everybody's going to die, and you're just like, oh, I got a little malaria, and now I'm over it. I'm not, I'm not sure you guys have malaria over there. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, but we've got mosquitoes, and sometimes they have some nasty stuff. What's what is it that they carry? There's um, West Nile West virus. West Nile, that's right. Yes, yeah. we have too much mosquito here. It is everywhere. You have to protect yourself. If not, you it kills. It, yeah. it is the most deadly disease. It kills people here much more, even more than HIV AIDS. Wow, the malaria. Yeah. So mosquitoes how, are yes. deadly. How do you treat it? What do you do about malaria? How to, Tylenol. Yes, you have to get, you have to get a medical attention. You have to get to the hospital, and then you get some drips, and then you take some other drugs. Then it may subside for a while. But one thing, malaria cannot go away. You just have to oh, wow. maybe empower yourself for the for a while. So, so you every time you get bitten by a mosquito, you have to go to the hospital. Is that? No, yes, you have to get you have to get to the hospital. If you don't get to the hospital, that's, it may become very. That's critical. only if you're showing signs of malaria, right? Not every time you get a mosquito bite, because you'd be checking yes. in all the time. The, the, the symptoms of malaria are very common here. When when you realize that you are very dizzy, you are very weak, you can't do anything, and if you realize that you were bitten by mosquitoes, you just have to rush to the hospital. Wow. Hmm. So you uh, yes, took whatever so, uh, antibiotics that they uh, they gave you. You're feeling better this week. I appreciate uh, yes. appreciate that. Yes, you have to take some Queenie Max. You have to take some paracetamol. And we have a local drug here called Quatem, which when taken, it, it kills down the power of the virus. So uh, what was it that you wanted to – I mean, you traveled 40 kilometers. Uh, it's You're not the average caller on Free Talk Live. The average caller just picks up a phone and – calls in you have to get on a bus drive uh and yes. be taken 40 kilometers this, away from your home to con contact us so go ahead yes this enabled me to get access to the internet because in my hometown in the we there is no internet connection so i have to get to bamenda in order to be on the show right I, I I admire your dedication, sir. There are people who are are claimed to be fans of this show who won't even like bother to listen to it if it's not on the particular me medium that they want. Right? Like they're <laughs> like, "Oh, go to download it from SoundCloud. What a pain in the neck! I want to watch right. it on YouTube." <laughs> okay. Uh, last week I came to Bamenda because uh, one 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 of our libertarians, James. James W. Davis sent me some money oh, to, yeah. to yeah to go and make a passport. So I went there to make the passport. I was prepared to come on the show. So that malaria took me down. I just went back home. So, so James is, by the way, uh, somebody who works behind the scenes for Free Talk Live. He's a great guy. He moved actually earlier this year, or last, or 2014. Uh, he moved in 2014 to New Hampshire from New York, actually. Uh, Chris, I don't know if you've met James yet, but uh, you've been talking with him online. And okay. so yeah, James actually uh, reached out to you, Akko, and said that he wanted to help you travel here, which you have told me is one of your dreams, is to come to New Hampshire and to meet some of the liberty activists that you've yes. thus far only when, heard whenever, about. Yes, Ian, whenever I'm listening to the Liberty Radio Network, when, when I hear about the Free State Project, I just, I just feel that I am part of it. 
I just feel that I have to be there one day. I, I should not be listening to this only on the radio. I should be there in broad daylight. I should be part of the whole show because here mentally, I think that I am part of, part of it. And I believe that one day I will find myself there. That's thanks beautiful. to you guys. You got to have dreams. And, uh, and if you don't, then they can't come true. And I think that's certainly doable. Did you get the passport? Well, yeah, I was going to ask you, what's the uh, process like in uh, you know Cameroon where you've described the government uh, as less than friendly okay. in a lot of ways? Just for, me, just for me to get the passport, I have to pay bribes. <laughs> I have to go and see the officers and see them behind door and give them some money in order to be able to, to do it because there are thousands of people who want to leave Cameroon. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants to leave Cameroon because there are no job opportunities here. You can't do anything here. So as the number of people are crowding before their office, in order for them to receive you, you have to pay some, some cash. So I had to pay some cash in order to make it. And when you make it, it has to take, it has to process, uh, the process will take about a month or two before it comes out. Okay. So, so you got to pay a whole bunch of bribes, and you're not even sure if it's going to get you what you wanted at first, is it? Or is there like a bribe reputation system with these yes. extortionists? It is quite possible that you can pay the bribe, but at the end of the day, when when the thing gets to our nation capital, Yaoundé, they may decide not to issue a passport, especially somebody sure. like me, whom they think that I'm a political activist, somebody whom they think I'm fighting I am because they say that I'm spreading anti-government propaganda. I don't know whether they are going to issue me one. So over here they call the bribes fees and <laughs> ap application fees. I mean, it's the same thing, right? I mean, because over here you can, you know, try to get their passport and they could still deny you. You try to get a visa like our friend Roger Veer just did and they denied him. And even though he's given them hundreds of thousands of dollars. Uh, so it's really the same difference. I mean, is there is it that you've p actually paid bribes and then you pay a fee or is it just all does it all appear to be a bribe to you? Oh. No, the bribe is something that a receipt will not be issued. But after paying the bribe, the bribe is just to enable you to go and pay for the fee. Just of to the, of get the there passport. to pay the fee. So, okay. So, yes. so Akko, after, how did the money get? After I paid, I'm sorry. How did the money get to you? Uh, James sent you money, but uh, was it Bitcoin? No. Uh, did you? Okay. How, how did you get it? No, no, it? no, he sent it was dollars. He sent it through MoneyGram. MoneyGram is very easy to send somebody money here. Okay. Yeah, uh, you you may recall, Mark, uh, when we had Akko uh, on previously and we did a little fundraiser. Akko, hang on. You can stick with us for a little bit, right? Okay. All right, more with uh, Akko here in a moment. You may recall, Mark, that we did a little fundraiser for Akko considering he actually has to spend serious money to come and talk to us. Mm -hmm. um, and our listeners donated about $150, and we sent that over via MoneyGram. I was actually surprised at how affordable MoneyGram was sending money to Cameroon. And we actually sent him some Bitcoin as well. But the problem is there's not much of a Bitcoin network in Cameroon to buy things with or cash out. We're coming up. Inventory isn't about products, kid. It's about money. Products sitting on shelves is money sitting on shelves. I hate overstock. I hate understock. I hate wasting time. I hate wasting money. That's why I love Granger. Granger Keepstock Solutions help us manage our facility's inventory so we have exactly what we need when we need it. No more, no less. It's inventory management my way. Get it? Got it? Good. Visit Granger.com slash Keepstock for more information. Granger. For the ones who get it done. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. If the IRS has garnished your paycheck or seized money from your bank account, you need to get professional tax help now. Fast action is required to put a halt to these aggressive IRS collection tactics. You can count on the knowledgeable team of tax professionals at Wall & Associates. With over 30 years of experience, Wall & Associates has settled the tax problems of thousands of taxpayers for a small fraction of what they owed. For a free face-to-face -face consultation, call 1-800-425-4610 to put a wall between you and the IRS. 
425-4610 or look for us on the web at wallandassociates.net. We solve tax problems. If you hire Walland Associates today, you'll never have to talk to the IRS again. To stop the levies and seizures today, take action now. Call Walland Associates at 1-800-425-4610. Wall and Associates, 1-800-425-4610. Based on actual cases, results may vary, not a solicitation for legal services. His name is Osimo. Honda has unveiled its new human-like robot that the team says is designed to run a non-competitive half marathon and then smugly brag about it afterwards. Project leader Kenji Saito calls the robot very aggravating, adding, quote, we knew how to create a robot that could run great distances at high speeds. The challenge was to build a bot that would be impressed with its own minor achievement. The robot even believes it could run a full marathon if it wanted to, but it's just doing this to stay in shape and have some fun. If I wanted to, I probably could have played college football. Aiming to make the android as realistically human as possible, scientists installed sensors to register derisive comments and eye rolls from annoyed co-workers as genuine interest in its self-centered blather. The team noted that the irritating robot could be useful in medical fields as well. Already, Osmo has pestered scientists into sponsoring it to run a 5K in Cape Cod this summer. To date, it's raised over $700 for leukemia research. This is the Onion News Network. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. RATS is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. RATS was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. RATS is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download RATS free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You may dial toll-free. All you have to do is call up at 855-450-FREE and bring up anything that's on your mind. Still to come, the latest on the Ross Ulbricht trial continued today. In Manhattan, we've been following it fairly closely here on Free Talk Live. Also, we've got Christopher Cantwell with us tonight. And tonight, or today rather, he went to Concord. So we'll talk about what happened there. Plus, poop inspections at a government elementary school. Was it a government school, Mark, that yep. this happened at? We'll explain that to you as well. Of course, all of that if we get the chance. Your calls come first, though. The toll-free number is 855 855- 450 free and mark silver gold whether you're in cameroon or whether you're in south florida or anywhere else in the world silver and gold's a pretty universal uh, valuable yeah it's a good thing to have either as a hedge against inflation maybe an investment i'm thinking that the price of silver is going to go up here in the future and that's a good thing uh, or a barter currency in case things go south um you know but economically it's not a bad idea to have it. You can go to gold.freetalklive.com, load up on coins and pieces. We actually have the Ludwig von Mises piece there. If you get more than one, you'll have Mises pieces. It is gold.freetalklive.com. All right. Uh, we're going back to Akko. He's you on the really line. You just said Mises pieces. Did. I did. I did. So, and I'm not, not even sorry. First, not the first time he's used that joke either. Uh, <laughs> Akko is back with us in Cameroon, Africa, uh, in Bamenda, the uh, sort of the, the north or western, I guess more western area, uh, which has a kind of a secessionist streak going on uh you're a member of a an organization what is it the scnc yes uh the scnc southern cameroon national council we are fighting to uh get independence from the republic of cameroon because we came to, we came together as an independent nation after we were colonized by britain and france that's why we are we are a bilingual speaking country so for us who are the we are the anglophones we speak english as as, as our official language. We are being marginalized. Our government is putting us, us on the wall. We, we don't have anything. You, you go to school, you don't get a job. So the best thing for us to do is to get out of this government. That is the movement. 
Southern Cameroon National Council. And you're looking to, uh, to come to visit New Hampshire. It's a dream of yours to come and meet some of the very activists that you've heard uh, talking on this radio program. And, and a friend of ours and uh, kind of behind the scenes guy uh, with the show Free, with Free Talk Live, James, he reached out to you and offered to send you some money to help you get a passport. You've gone through the process, which, as you described, involves paying bribes in order to hopefully have them maybe in another month or two approve the passport application. So is the plan maybe generally to get this passport and come here during the summertime? Uh, when, whenever, whenever I will get the passport, then I will start the process of going to the embassy. I know that it is very complex for somebody to obtain a visa, but I will try, and I know with your help, and I will get it. Because after I watched the documentary on one one o one reasons dot com about free uh, state project, I was moved. I was touched. I just knew that I am part of this, and I should be there. It's a great film. You're talking about the 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire. If you go to 101reasonsfilm.com, you can watch it. Uh, it's available free yeah. online. Anybody who wants to go and check that I out. Have really it. I have it. I've, I have downloaded it. I have it on CD here. I give it to listeners, and many people have watched it. Oh, cool. Many people are sharing it. It is wonderful. You, are, you guys are doing a wonderful job. Thank you very much. Well, thank you, uh, Akko. And, and hopefully the, all the paperwork and the bureaucratic nonsense can get taken care of and uh, we can have you come out here for a visit. I think it would be especially cool for Akko to experience the Porcupine Freedom Festival because that's kind of the a pinnacle event uh, of the year out here. But whether it's Pork, pork Fest or later on this year for Keenvention or whatever, it would be great to have you it's come out. It's a big out. part of what got me out here. Yeah, no I, doubt. I would. I would like to come to the U.S. and take part in all the various uh, projects, all the various festivities. If it is a pork fest, if it is a free state project, uh, free state forum, all of them, I would like. I would be happy to be there. Akko, I have a kind of a question about bribes. Um, living in the United States, we don't experience sort of bribes the way they do in in other countries so when when you have to pay money to do something in the united states it's laid out on a on a form right and you know and like you check the box what you want and those kind of things they try to make it all very voluntary um, of course somebody's taking money from you to give you the ability to do something uh it's not that much different than a bribe but how does the conversation go um, so you go to the passport office and you say, I'd like a passport. And then what does the person say? Do they stick their hand out? Do they say, grease my palm? What do they say? No, when, when you go there, you'll find many people who are struggling to obtain a passport. So uh, the best thing for you to do is to go behind the door and contact them and get yours very early. If not, you may spend a month going every day to the office and nobody will attend to you. Taking bribe here in Cameroon is like the, the, the daily breath. It is not something illegal. People people have legitimized it. Our, our, our government has legitimized it. Imagine that you go to school, you can never get a job. And if you, if you have to get a job, you have to buy one. So many Cameroonians do not even know that giving a bribe or taking a bribe is something that is that is illegitimate. It is a way of life here in Cameroon. I just gave it and it meant nothing to me because we have been given like that. How much did you have to pay? I mean, when you went into this office, what was the first bribe you had to pay out? I, I had to give something about $10, which is equivalent here to 5,000 francs in order and, for them to process me the paper. And you told us before that maybe the, the average Cameroonian makes about $14. Was it every week or every two weeks there? Every, it should be every two weeks because things are, things are not getting better here. Things are instead getting worse. Imagine that our per capita income is dropping by the day. Our economy is dying. We have a president here who doesn't know about what is happening in our country. Imagine having a president who is who is above eighty-five. Somebody who he's is been not there for well. thirty Somebody, years. This guy, more than thirty. Years. He just keeps on getting reelected. He must be a very good president. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, so, he, he he doesn't get elected. He is rigging the process. He's rigging the process. He he can rig the process, and nobody will say anything to him. Do they even so, make it look like he has opposition? Do they even try to like pretend like there's somebody who's opposing him in, they, the, in the election? 
Yeah, there was a, an active opposition party here called the Social Democratic Front, of which I was a member. They came with money and bribed everybody, and everybody went to their own party. So the party finally died. So that is the situation here in Cameroon. Bribe, bribe, Ten bucks. Corrupt. Ten dollar bribe. I mean, but, for us, that's nothing. But for, for the folks over in Cameroon, that's a week's worth of pay. Yeah, but what is it like when you go and you hand off this ten dollar bribe? I mean, to the other people in the office, when you, when you lean by the, tor by the door and say, hey, here, I've got the special form or whatever, yeah. um, do the other people in the, that are in the waiting room, are they like, we're going to tear the flesh from your bones for jumping ahead of us? No, the people who were standing in the door, they didn't have the $10. If they had the $10, they would have paid so that they should get services rendered to them. So I had the money. I just went there and did mine. You cut, out, interesting. you cut out a little bit there. You uh, Can you repeat that? Uh, that, is a, that is a situation here in Cameroon. If you don't pay bribes, you cannot get anything done. You can't do anything. It is but did like you do it in front even... of the other people? Like when you're paying, when you're no. paying the bribe, do you go in a different room? I it's think the premise here no. is that it's like no. it's not no. even a secret. Like it's just you're you're going to you're not paying you know the government. You're paying the government agent off to do something that you know should would normally be considered illegal. Job. But it's yeah. just so common that they're no. treating it almost no. like we treat tips. No. I didn't I I didn't pay it in public. We had to go behind the doors. Right. Yeah. Because you don't want everybody seeing you with ten dollars. I mean, that's that's a lot of money. You're you're flashing around a week's worth of pay. Presumably, if you've got ten dollars in your pocket, you may have another ten dollars because there's likely another bribe coming up. So, how many bribes did you have to pay to actually get to the point of filing no, that, this? That was only, that was the only bribe that, that was I it. paid. So okay, that's that not bad. Serious. And now, yeah, what was the actual filing fee? Do you uh, recall okay, that? Then can you imagine? Can you imagine after I paid that they did the passport, but they didn't give me the receipt. They told me that I should come back one week later on and receive the receipt. So I don't know. Maybe if I have to go and receive the receipt, they will ask me for another bribe. Yeah, that sounds believable, right? Oh yeah, I don't, we don't know. We're not sure what that is. Let's see. Uh, what would help me look for it? Maybe another ten dollars. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Imagine paying. Imagine paying money and they don't. They don't issue a receipt and give it to you. They will tell you that go and come back one week after. Right. When you take Incredible. the receipt, then you go and wait for a month or two. Well, I'll when, go when keep us in the loop as to how this develops. I'm fascinated uh, by the process of what it would take, what it will take for you to get out of Cameroon to come visit in the United States. And uh, and, and thank you as always for for coming on and and spending time with us here tonight. Thank you, Ian. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Thank you to everybody on the Liberty Radio Network. You are doing a wonderful job, a marvelous job. You okay. are changing people's life. Travel safe Thank as you. you head back to Ndop and uh, appreciate your time tonight. Because right now it's, what, Thank 2 you. in the morning? It's 2 in the morning where you are right now? Yeah, it's 2 in the morning. It's incredible. It's incredible. It's dedication incredible to make a Incredible dedication. Thank you for the call, Akko, and uh, travel safe. We'll see you soon, hopefully. Uh, there's more coming up here on Free Talk Live, our toll-free number is 855-450 free the latest from the ross ulbricht trial chris campbell goes to concord and poop inspections at a local elementary school very disturbing before girls night out my eczema flared up Ugh, i felt like canceling but then i tried cortisone 10 eczema relief it's specially formulated for eczema and has one percent hydrocortisone the strongest non-prescription itch medicine for fast lasting itch relief it quickly stopped the itch and soothed my red dry flaky skin with cortisone 10 eczema relief i was ready for girls night out and it was the best one ever cortisone 10 eczema relief feel the heal use as directed do you drink coffee was the last cup of coffee you had really good Free Talk Live has teamed up with BuzzBox to bring you the best of the best coffee. Shade grown, organic, top 1% grade Arabica. But what's different is for every 10 people that get their coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com, we can give another micro loan through Kiva. Get a free pound to try it out. A free pound of the best of the best coffee. Help others one cup at a time. coffee.freetalklive.com. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters, buyers, and sellers too? Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com
The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Wednesday, January 28th, 2015. Silver is trading at $17.96 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,289 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $259. Antiwar.com reports claiming earlier in the day that Hezbollah had fired a pair of rockets at Israel doing no damage and causing no injuries. Israeli artillery and warplanes attacked Syria on Tuesday, confirming direct hits of several army posts. Israeli officials insisted the rockets that landed in the Golan Heights were a blanket violation of Israeli sovereignty and that they considered Syria responsible since they are allied with Hezbollah. They offered no explanation for why they figured Hezbollah was behind the initial rocket fire. It is true that Hezbollah was looking to retaliate against them after Israel attacked Syria recently, killing several of Hezbollah's top anti-Islamic state leaders, but the group seems like it would be able to muster more than just a couple of stray rockets that did not damage anything. There are still no reports on the extent of the damage on the Syrian side, though with multiple army bases apparently targeted, it is likely that the Assad government's anti-Islamic state capabilities just took another big hit from Israel, who has been attacking off and on for months now. You can support FPP Radio by joining the FANS program. FANS are friends, allies, and numerary supporters. FANS help FPP afford to produce more original content. To learn more or to join the FANS program, visit fans.fppradio.com. That's F-A-N-S dot fppradio.com. Reuters reports after former NSA contractor Edward Snowden reportedly leaked the source code, security experts on Tuesday said a program used by U.S. and British spies to record computer keystrokes was part of a sophisticated hacking operation in more than a dozen countries. On Tuesday, researchers at security software firm Kapersky Lab said that much of that code, published this month by German magazine Spiegel, matched what they previously found in machines infected with Regen, a major suite of spying tools Posed in November. Lead Kapersky researcher Kostin Rayu said that the keylogging program, called QWERTY, would work only with Regan and that it appeared several Western countries' spies had been using Regan over the course of a decade. He told Reuters, multiple attacker groups are using the Regan platform, which is a new conclusion for us. Spiegel and other publications reported earlier that Regan had been used in the hacking of the Belgian telecommunications provider Belgicom, which slides provide by Snowden said was targeted to enable spying on mobile phones in Europe. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. UPI reports an employee of an obscure Defense Department intelligence agency has admitted flying a drone while drunk and being behind the White House crash. The Secret Service said the man called to report he was behind the security breach in the small hours of Monday morning. An agent patrolling the grounds heard and saw the two-foot quadcopter just after 3 a.m. The Secret Service said the man reported he had been drinking with friends in an apartment near the White House when he decided to give a friend's quadcopter a spin. 
He sent friends text immediately after the crash that he was afraid the quadcopter, which cost hundreds of dollars, had gone down on the White House grounds, but only learned when he woke in the morning that his fears were justified. The man who was operating the drone self-reported himself after seeing news stories of the crash. While his employer, the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency, has a broad mission, officials said his job did not involve drones. Brian Leary, a Secret Service spokesman, said initial indications are that this incident occurred as a result of recreational use of the device. President Obama was thousands of miles away on an official visit to India at the time of the drone crash. He told CNN the incident shows the need for intelligence regulations of drones, citing their use in firefighting, wildlife protection, and possibly soon to deliver packages to Amazon customers. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. Now, how much money will all those closeted Republican convention goers bring into the city, Marie? A lot. The average area prostitute normally makes around two to three hundred dollars a week jerking off truck drivers behind the bus station. But I see. Next week, they are expecting to make 30 times that amount sucking off secretly gay Republicans. Wow. You figure the fact that these delegates are so repressed and filled with self-hatred. Yes. They tend to like the filthiest, kinkiest sex acts imaginable. Oh, that's which right. Which tends to cost more. The average well-adjusted gay man has no desire to smear fecal matter all over his partner's <laughs> face no. would be beat up by him. But that is exactly the sort of thing that these repressed conservatives are willing to pay top dollar for. Okay, as well as the services of transsexuals, oh, I understand. Yes. A, a lot of the Republicans repeatedly call the prostitutes faggots or True. start crying after they've had sex with them. I suppose the prostitutes are shoring up on their politics so they can talk to the Republicans. Ha ha, Andrea, what do you think this is? Pretty woman? They're just there to get f***ed. Right. Thank you, Marie Byron. Oh, RNC's always a good time. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live. You can dial in here toll free at 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. If you're just tuning in here tonight, uh, you missed Tom Woods. We had him on in the first hour. You can, of course, grab the archives later on at your leisure at freetalklive.com. As long as I remember to click the right buttons uh, later on tonight, usually the archives are up by midnight Eastern time on the average night. And it's all free over at freetalklive.com, so please enjoy. Also, free content is available at christophercantwell.com. Chris joining us here tonight. Hey, Chris. Hey, good to be with you. We spent the whole day together, actually. We'll come up uh, here in a little bit, talk about how you went into the state house with a gun. Sure did. That story is on the way here tonight. Plus, uh, if we get the chance, Mark, you've got a disturbing-sounding story about poop inspections at an elementary school in the United it's States. It's a stellar night here on Free Talk Live. Uh, yep, we are scraping the bottom of the barrel. Uh, let's go to Chris Kringle on Speaking the line. Speaking of poop inspections. <laughs> <laughs> you're on Free Talk Live. Chris, you're calling from California. Chris. On you. I'm sorry? I'm going to do a poop inspection on you to make sure that you keep it in within a biblical context. I was hoping that that, that, oh, that's that right. like, this is, screeching uh, sound. I had forgotten that uh, Pete had changed his name to Chris Kringle. Yeah, I was hoping that that was like when he like kicked the chair out from under his noose, but apparently not. <laughs> that'll, that'll, that'll confuse the NSA. Look, I just want to thank the Lord for goodness, and I want to tell you why how you can't be liberty-minded unless you... Uh, Unless you have the Spirit of the Lord with you, you know? Okay. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty. That's well, that's a Bible Can you verse. at least find new words to repeat your stupid propaganda with? <laughs> Do you understand? No, we you, come in know. here and we come in here with the same exact agenda every single day. And do you understand that we still manage to find new ways to explain it to our audience? You don't have to come in here for three hours an evening, seven days a week and figure this out. You just have to call in here and bloviate for that, as long as it takes for Ian to hang up on you. So come in here and say something original or leave us alone. Gosh. Christopher Cantwell, are you there, Christopher Cantwell? I am not. Can I borrow your Glock? Because this this guy is getting out of control, and it, it is, I just want to pistol whip him and by the state house. I carry a revolver, sir. Yeah. Well, okay. Whatever. A three eighty. You know. Just boom. You know. Just you're you're a heretic. You know that. Are you suggesting that you would shoot Chris Cantwell? I, I I there's only one reason I would lend you my gun. <laughs> you know what? You're see, you're the. You're the you're the trailer trash liberal over there in New Hampshire. You need to stop that. 
before it's too late. He just called me a liberal. Yeah. Do you, you have any trash. idea how much time I spend bashing liberals? Do you know what I just did to a liberal I mean, on the front page of my website? I mean, I mean libertarian. That's what I'm interested Yes, yeah, there you go. You can call me a libertarian so, if you want, Pete so, Chris. So look, anyway, loser. you know, we agree on most things. I'm an no, independent. No, we don't. I don't really think so. I'm an independent. Liberty minded independent. What does it even mean to be an independent? What's that mean to you? I don't like it the Rockefeller. It means he's on lonely. The left wing, that nobody like the <laughs> nobody like wants anything to do with him. He can't even join a political party. He's When's such the a last big time, scumbag. Uh, Chris Kringle, when is the last time you went on a date? No, don't, let's not go there. You know, nah. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Maybe I, well, where do I find a God fearing Protestant woman that has her priorities right in a state like this? You know? I can get you something that almost sounds like that. I can get There's you. There's got to be a website for what you're woman. talking about. You know what the problem is? You know, I like the liberty minded chicks. The uh, I like the free association ones you're talking about. You know, and uh, you know, but the problem is they they don't have their values correctly. They look decent on the outside. They have the, they can talk a good game, but. They don't have the conservative, you know, biblical values. How old are you, uh, Pete slash Chris? Uh, that's, you know, let's just say, you know, uh, I'm about your age. What's your social well, security you know how, number? How, <laughs> how do you know how old I am, Pete? I know how old you are. You know, the, the van's watching everything right now. Okay. Thanks for the call I mean, tonight. Oops. All right. Probably hasn't had a date in his uh, adult life. Toll free number is 855 450. Well, he's, he's waiting until marriage to start dating. Oh, that's I right. Think, you know. Yeah. Uh, so you can bring up anything here. We've got George. He is on the line <laughs> in the D.C. area. Hello, George. Hey, Henry Chris. And it was, and it was, You're really loud, guy. George. You're going to have to back off your microphone maybe about like two inches. How's this? That's better. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Um, anyway, it looks like I might be in trouble with Lyft here. Um, a week and a half ago, Saturday night, late Saturday, early Sunday morning, get a little call from someone who I thought was in Herndon, which is near Dulles Air, about like two exits away. Yep. I show up at this house. I'm waiting about 30 minutes for this lady. And so that then she calls and sends me a text. And so I was going, to, where are you? It's like, I'm at the thing, address where you put on the pen. And then I, and then I, I text. It's like, then she texts me. It's like, where's that? It's like, no, I'm at this address. And which I'm like, is it the one in McLean or those one in D.C.? And she's like, I'm in D.C. And I'm just like, you just sent me to D- to Herndon. Okay, hold on. Dog. Just slow, let's slow down for a second here. So you're a driver for Lyft, which is the one of the main competitors to Uber, one of these ride-sharing services, as they're called. Uh, and the way these apps work, from what I've un- understood, I've never actually had the chance to, to try it because the only time I've ever tried was in Austin, and it's banned. Uh, at least so Uber was banned from Austin. I tried them. And but the idea is when you open this app, you it knows where you are due to GPS, and you let the app know that that's where you want to be picked up, and then you presumably let it know where you want to be dropped off. So this woman claimed she was in this one place, or her phone was. How did she masquerade as though she was in one place but wasn't actually there? Well, when you when you make a request, when you you know um, the pin. Uh, we had her put in the address, or you put in the pin on a map on where you think you are. Uh-huh. Well, this was three sheets to the wind here, yeah. apparently. So it doesn't <laughs> use GPS. You actually have to tell the the app where that you where you are. It, yeah. Well, well, you did, you punch it in, or it can use GPS also. About oh, you, okay. Because it's right. Like if you were, for instance, in a meeting. And yeah. uh, and you needed to be picked up two blocks away, then you would want to be able to punch in the location of okay, well I'll I'll be here and at this time. Okay, so I I got you there. So she is exactly. s face wasted, and she put in the wrong location. You're sitting outside waiting for her for a half an hour, and then for over she, twenty mile, twenty miles away, pretty much. Uh-huh. And which then when she tells me where she's at, I'm like, well, you might be better off just canceling this ride and uh, requesting another lift because when I was waiting, when I tapped the I have arrived button. Uh, one minute after that, the the fair goes on, you know, like the meter's running. Yeah. And, mm. and so I've already waited 30 minutes there. And it's like, so it's like, look, you might w- want to just, you know, cancel it as, as send her this thing. And, well, uh, that would make the most sense, right? Because she's in D.C. You're now in Herndon, Virginia. And actually, Chris, you actually lived there for a short period of yeah, time. Yeah, Herndon's not terribly far from D.C. Yeah, but, but still, it's going to take been, you time. If you've been waiting yep. a half an hour, and now it's going to take you 20 minutes There's to get over. There's probably another to, driver know. who's closer to her yeah. that could, that could pick her that's up. That's what I told her. Right. But she's like, no, I want you. So I'm just like, Ooh. okay. <laughs> I want you to come pick me up. And I'm just like, okay. Well, uh, so I go you pick her up. watch the movie that started this yep. way. <laughs> 
and then because it's only two exits away, and and then that way I can get onto the access road and avoid the tolls because I don't, I was not gonna pay a toll in case she came to her senses and canceled. You know, I didn't right. want to left out in that thing. So then I get there, pick her up, finally drop her off in Potomac, Maryland, and the fare comes out to be over eighty one, eighty two dollars. Right. Okay. <laughs> When she comes to the next morning and has a hangover, she's like, yeah. what in the world did I pay $82 for? Yeah. I've exactly. been ripped off. Like I said, I made a screenshot of the you know text conversation, you know, of me saying, hey, you're better off, you know, just canceling and sending another lift. And then her, her response that way, because um, I just recently got the email from Liv saying, like, what would you do, do ripping this lady off like that? You know, they think I ripped her off. So <laughs> let me see if I'm clear on this. So she was charged from the time when you said, I'm here in Herndon, all the yeah. way to when you actually picked her up, then to her destination. So she paid for that entire uh, journey yeah. that she was only on for half the time. Not even half, probably about a third, but yeah. <laughs> and that but seems does, legit does, to me. Yeah, it, it totally is. I mean, does Lyft have a you know particular policy to do with this? I mean, it sounds to me like you've got everything wrapped up. You've got an app with GPS. You've got a, a set of instructions from the app to go do something. You go do exactly what the app tells you to, and then you charge her how much the app char tells you to charge her. And uh, the uh, and the people who made the app are complaining now. Yeah, they were compla complaining to me, and, and then I sent her the screenshot because I took a. I, I knew this this might be trouble, so I. You sent who like, the screenshot? The Lyft representative. Yeah. yeah All yeah. right, stand by, George. We can continue the story here in a moment. Our toll free number is eight fifty five four fifty free. The uh, inside operations of one of the companies or the one of the country's ride sharing groups, Lyft. Also, Uber. George gives rides for both, actually. More coming up here in moments. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Your thoughts on the ride-sharing situation or whatever's on your mind. It's Free Talk Live. Here's a special message for those of you who owe the IRS at least 10000 or more in back taxes. The IRS has special programs in place that could eliminate or reduce your tax debt by thousands of dollars. Call the tax helpline that has been set up to help you. 800-691-6129. That's 800-691-6129. Stop the wage garnishments, levies, and tax liens now. Once you've qualified and enrolled, the IRS will stop all the collection activities against you. These unique programs have been allocated to help the economy and significantly reduce or eliminate your tax burden. The IRS is currently accepting reduced settlements and other favorable programs. You may qualify for substantial savings, so get the help you need. For free information and to see if you qualify, take down the number now for the Tax Representation Hotline. 800-691-6129. That's 800-691-6129. 800-691-6129. Hi, this is Mark Edge, host of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the very economic engine that powers this country, with a printing press tethered to Washington politicians, bureaucrats, and central bankers. How can we put our trust in paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Come see gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold. With Washington, D.C. delivering more debt and printed promises, common sense tells us the future of the trend is obvious. Everyone listening should visit gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938. I trust Midas Resources for my gold, silver, platinum, and you can too. Again, I want you to have this book, and it's free. It's gold.freetalklive.com or 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keene. Keene is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keene is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. 
See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. I'm Mark Stevens of the No State Project. And are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you're only helping the government. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available right now. Learn it, use it, spread it. So get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. Do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at twitter.lrn.fm. That's twitter.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You dial toll-free if you'd like. Bring up whatever's on your mind, 855-450-FREE, and pour yourself a cup of BuzzBox coffee. You've got some, right? Well, you can get some. Is All you have to do is go to coffee.freetalklive.com. There, we have a subscription program. You can sign up and cancel it at any time. But get if, your first pound free. Yep, you'll get your first pound free. You pay the shipping. What is this, the Silk Road? <laughs> <laughs> you know, they would love to have had the... Uh, Coffee this delicious on the Silk Road. <laughs> you just go to coffee.freetalklive.com and sign up today. The, really what makes BuzzBox Coffee different is, is they give us back some of the profits so that we can share them with people around the world via kiva.org through microloans. These microloans are loaned to people for a variety of different reasons. Sometimes they want to buy a cow or maybe they want to uh, you know, stock up a restaurant so that they can make money that way or buy a used appliances. Bribe an official in Cameroon. It, right? could, it could be. Um, no one has ever claimed that's the reason. <laughs> um, I, I, Yeah, so far I have not loaned anyone uh, money to bribe officials in Cameroon. <laughs> now, if you want to start a business in a lot of these places, probably bribes are involved. Yeah, they probably they just don't yeah. mention those on right. Kiva.org. So there you go. <laughs> and once they pay back these loans, and so far we've got a 100% rate on that. Really? That's yep. cool. Um, then we're able to loan it out to other folks. So it's coffee.freetalklive.com. Would it be totally inappropriate if I if I kept on trying to like derail Mark's live reads and just <laughs> inserting stuff and seeing how good he can stick to it? Because I, I thought that was pretty good. <laughs> I pretty thought good. that was pretty yeah. well done. George is with us. He's a driver with Uber and Lyft in the D.C. area. You said that you're in hot water with Lyft. And they don't seem to be really, uh, at least thus far in the conversation we've had, really taking your so side of the story into account. You picked up a, a drunken lady. Uh, was it this weekend, George? A week and a half ago. It was not this past Saturday night, but the one right before it. And let me ask you this. Have you ever picked up a drunk person driving for Lyft or Uber before? Driving for Lyft or Uber? Nah. I mean, I, I mean, I picked up drunks before. Yeah, I mean, never mind. Yeah, All I would think that you drunk. Yeah. There's most of your business. Yeah, I was, I was gonna say that. <laughs> I, mean, I'm not, I, I never been drunk. I just like I said, I, yeah, Saturday okay. nights and Friday nights. That's drunk. The night. customer, sure. All right, so you uh, got a request from a lady. She said, "Come get me in Herndon, Virginia." You go out there. You arrived at the location. You're waiting, and you text the the lady and say, "Hey, what's going on? Where are you? I'm waiting for you." And she says, "Oh, I'm here in D.C." And so she had accidentally set her location incorrectly. You gave her the chance to cancel the ride at that point, and she said, no, I want you uh, to come pick me up. Had you had this lady before? Was there a reason she wanted you specifically, or was it just because she was so wasted and she was— I think she was just wasted. Yeah. I mean, maybe—I don't know. I, call, I called her, and uh, actually, no, she called me at one point. As in, like, oh, I don't know. She might have liked the sound of my voice or something like that. I don't know why. Oh, I never that's dealt interesting. With her that wasn't it, man. Hey, <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna jokingly say like she must have just loved the sound of your voice and make it like totally sarcastic, and then it was actually proposed as something serious. <laughs> so you go out, you pick her up, you take her to where she wanted to go, and then she got all butthurt about it the next day when she saw the eighty dollar charge, uh, you know, of of which. 
two-thirds of the ride she wasn't in the car because she was sending you on a wild goose chase. And now Lyft has a problem with that? Well, they just, like I said, said that this person complained and, like, what, what what's going on. So I sent the, you know, screenshot of the message. I haven't heard back from them yet. So they're probably still doing the investigation okay on that. i i think i think you're gonna come out ahead of this yeah, I one so. george I, I think you're gonna be all right buddy and i know it can be a little nerve-wracking when uh you know you're um i don't know what you would call lift i don't want to call them your boss like it sounds like you're an almost. independent contractor yeah. you're you're uh yeah, whoever's yeah. sending you your business uh your client if you will says that they have a problem but it sounds to me like you're in the clear pal you've got gps you've got text messages you've got an app you've got instructions and you're doing exactly what you're supposed to do so i wouldn't I sweat yeah. it too bad pal also lift and uber are designed a little differently with uber i can say that i've arrived without starting the ride mm -hmm. without starting the meter in which had that happened, you know, had she just said, I'm in D.C., I would have just canceled the ride at that point right there myself, you know, because I wasn't getting any money at anyway. But since the meter was running and she said, come get me, I'm like, OK. <laughs> yeah. And had she so had she said, don't come get me, she would have still owed a small amount on that. Yeah. Non -ride. It would have been a much smaller amount. Like it probably would have been like five, at least five bucks, maybe 10 tops. Yeah. I'd say you are within well within your rights here and uh, hopefully it'll work out in your favor. Don't don't sweat it too much, George, and thank you for the call tonight. Appreciate hearing from you. It is a lesson in documentation though. Yeah, for sure. Certainly. All right, uh, more coming up here. Your calls and thoughts are welcome. We do have the latest on the Silk Road trial. I think we should probably get into some of that here and then still to come the uh, Chris Cantwell story from taking a gun into the state house here in Concord, New Hampshire it today. It was scary. And <laughs> <laughs> we'll get into that. But the latest from Ross Ulbricht's trial, Ross is the man who's accused of running the Silk Road, the infamous underground marketplace, which actually was discussed to, uh, today at the, the State House. The Silk Road was in a Bitcoin-related hearing. That's uh, for a later discussion. But uh, Ross Ulbricht is facing probably the rest of his life in prison as they are charging him with a conspiracy to hack, computer con conspiracy to commit computer hacking, conspiracy to uh, to sell drugs, and conspiracy to to let's see what's the third thing a money laundering money laundering that's yep. that's it and then and, the kingpin charge. and then a kingpin charge we're going to get to the latest on that story here but michael's with us first listening in albuquerque michael you're on free talk live with ian chris cantwell and mark well thank you very much i would like to ask a political question in regard to how one would nominate someone for president uh, folks we we don't discuss religion or politics on this show it's just too <laughs> hot button a topic we're trying to keep it light for the listeners i don't know what if, you know go ahead i'm sorry oh okay then can we branch to sex yeah we could do I mean, religion so politics and sex we can drink while we do it it's fine i was totally kidding go ahead pal well i was wondering you know i'd like to nominate uh michelle obama for president how yeah. do I do that? Well, How do you do that? I, I suppose that you would take over the Democratic Party <laughs> and you would, I don't know, Get to work. smoke crack for months. I, I think that is all you would have to do in that circumstance is to get her to throw her hat in the ring, uh, more or less. Yeah, um, reach out, give her a call. Say, uh, well, hey, I mean, many Michelle. Times, many but, times someone's nominated and they uh, refuse it or they just don't respond to it. I don't but know I if that I, is, now. I don't I, know what the Democratic uh, goings on are as far as how they pick their candidate. Uh, but uh, is it something where you have to nominate someone, or do they have to throw their hat in the ring? I, I would think of the latter. Nomination. It's nomination. Well, nomination, you, and then they choose whether. But they're the nomination, nomination is done through the political party, which is done through a, a variety of rules throughout the state. So, uh, it, it may very well be that in some other state. Somebody can be nominated as a Democratic Party candidate without their consent. I mean, that might very well be the case. I don't know. Uh, oh, but I, I know at least in New York that a candidate has to declare themselves a candidate. So you, uh, in your nomination for uh, the president of the United States, you would have to somehow get in touch with this person who you thought uh, was uh, so important that they should be the president. You would have to get them to consent and then once they consented, then they would have to uh, acquire a vast amount of organizational and monetary resources in order to organize campaigns throughout the United States and take over the Democratic Party. Well, so good luck with it, You got your work I, cut out for you. All the best to you. No doubt about it. Michael, thanks for the call tonight. I can't even get to the Libertarian Party convention. <laughs> <laughs> There's more coming up here. 855-450-FREE. You can dial in here. 
toll free and take control of the airwaves. You can also join us via Skype at username lrn.fm. Just send a contact request and we'll approve it. And then you can dial on in. It's Free Talk Live. More coming up. Did you know by age 50, half of all men have an enlarged prostate? This means more urges to urinate, longer bathroom trips, waking at night to urinate, or issues with sex. If this sounds familiar, call us now, because we're shipping free bottles of Super Beta Prostate to listeners of this station. Super Beta Prostate is a non-prescription formula guaranteed to reduce the symptoms of your enlarged prostate. It's yours free. Pay only shipping and handling. Just call 1-800-467-5090. In clinical trials, the ingredient in Super Beta Prostate was shown to reduce urges to urinate, improve bladder emptying, reduce waking at night to urinate, and improve quality of life. This Super Beta Prostate free offer is for listeners of this station, but it won't last. Don't wait. Just call 1-800-467-5090. That's 1-800-467-5090. Call 1-800-467-5090. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click Get Notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. Uncut. Covering the secrets and exposing the lies. That's what the readers of freedomsphoenix.com get every day. Freedomsphoenix.com constantly providing the information, the real news about government policies, and the real relationship we all have with the coercive government. The real condition of the economy, innovations in technology, breakthroughs in energy, health, and computer science. Learn the truth well before it's admitted to in the lamestream media. The corporate media, nothing more than distributors of government propaganda, but now there's an alternative. Freedomsphoenix.com. Constant news updates on the issues that affect your life in the most important ways. With liberty and property under constant attack, FreedomsPhoenix.com provides the understanding behind the propaganda, and it encourages the participation of its readers. Go to FreedomsPhoenix.com. That's freedoms with an S, Phoenix.com. FreedomsPhoenix.com. The revolution between the ears has already happened. Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. It's Free Talk Live. You can dial toll-free here at 855-453-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. There's news today. We're probably not going to have a chance to get into it, but... Uh, Edward Snowden is still releasing documents, and there's news today about how Canada apparently has a spy agency. First I've heard of it. Uh, But uh, Canada apparently has been monitoring 
countless amounts of downloads. So the news continues to come out, and your computer is not safe unless you take some steps in order to protect your privacy because you can't just expect your privacy to be safe just by default. You've got to do stuff to make that happen. And one of those things you should do is grab Pro XPN. It is a global virtual private network. You download their software for free for Windows, Macintosh, iOS devices, and Android devices. And if you're a Linux user, setup's a little different for you, but it's actually pretty easy. Go to proxpn.com slash FTL, grab the software, and get started with Pro XPN. You can try it out for free, but when you're ready to upgrade to their premium account, you'll get unlimited bandwidth, servers around the world that you can access. You can privately torrent and get past regionally blocked websites. Plus, they're encrypting your internet connection so your internet service provider won't know what you're doing online anymore once you start with ProXPN. Go to ProXPN.com slash FTL and then use code FTL50 and that'll save you 50% off the price of their annual account, which breaks the price down to around 5 bucks a month. And that code FTL50 locks you in to that same savings for the lifetime of your account. Plus, there's a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee, and ProXPN does not keep records of your online habits at all. Go to ProXPN.com slash FTL and use promo code FTL50 and get a great discount on privacy that is priceless. Let's go to Kevin. He's in New York City, and we'll also update you on the Silk Road trial coming up. Kevin, you're on Free Talk Live with Ian, Chris, and Mark. Hi, guys. Um, Ian, I wanted to challenge you. Um, I know that you are very specific and particular about the words you use. And in the promo that you have for the 101 reasons to move to New Hampshire, you read the website as 101. But 101 is not accurate because it's not the letter O. It's the number zero. Yeah, that's so pretty nitpicky, you, Kevin. The correct no, it's on. The, this is the, the name of the website, right? That's correct. Yeah, I mean... It, when when you're so giving a web address, address you want one. digits Who to be Who doesn't correct? know that 101 means 101? Are you kidding me? It's a web address. Yeah. Are you kidding me? You know, whenever I hear two numbers and a potential letter in the middle. I, I, I tend to think that. Who, what, who looks up the title 101 Dalmatians and thinks, oh, there's <laughs> one and another one Dalmatian in this movie. <laughs> it's a website. I Kevin, think, let me I ask you this. Ridiculous. Uh, Kevin, let me ask you this. Did you type in the wrong address the first time around? No, I, I haven't. All Admit right, it, you did. You totally did. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just think it's disrespectful to the number zero. All right. Anything else you got tonight, <laughs> disrespectful Kevin? Disrespectful to the number zero. Have a great night. Thanks for the call. You win, Kevin. Congratulations. <laughs> You've defeated uh, the great Ian Freeman yep. on Free Talk Live. Yep. Found me out. All right, so let's get into uh, some important news here. Ross Ulbricht, so they had a heroin dealer on the stand today in Manhattan, and it's the uh, third week of the Silk Road trial rolls on. Plus, they continued interviewing special agent from the IRS, Gary Alford, who uh, had gone through Ross Ulbricht's email accounts. This was the guy who the other day testified to how he found Ross Ulbricht's name. The interesting detail that was released earlier this week was that the feds didn't know who Ross Ulbricht was until September of 2013, literally just a few weeks before they shut the site down and arrested him. Mm. And the way they found out who it was was by Googling for the uh, any mentions of the Silk Road prior to the date that it started. And what they found was posts made by ostensibly Ross Ulbricht on the Bitcoin Talk forums, which were made two days prior to the opening of the Silk Road. Frosty. Uh, no, actually, he was using uh, Altoid was okay. the name of his yeah, handle right, there. Right. And then they traced back through the account. He's got 40 other posts. You can still go and look at the Altoid account on Bitcoin Talk, uh, the Bitcoin Talk forums. And then they went back to one of the earlier posts where he posts looking for help with programming and puts his full email address, Ross Ulbrich, to gmail.com right there in the email. So how else, how would anybody know about the Silk Road prior to the release, <laughs> prior to the opening of the website? Well, you would know about it if you were the person who coded the site. And right. so that's how they found Ross. You so just grow 10 kilos of mushrooms in your basement. And yeah, and then that's another allegation. Give away on the he internet. Was, he was the first seller on the site as well. So, yeah, the, the case is stacked up pretty bad against him. It's, at this it's point. one of these things that, like, I, I don't know. Uh, 
Go ahead with the story. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, well, there's no. St- the story is that Bra- <laughs> that Russ Ulbricht's going to go to jail for a very long time. Yeah, uh, I mean the guy was in Thailand in I think 2012, uh, and I, you know, like literally was out of the country. It's not like he's never left before, but decided mm-hmm. to ca- come back, and he like he had to hurry back to San Francisco so that he could get arrested. Yeah, he was going to be late for his indictment. I mean, <laughs> he's is totally. Uh, it's just. I don't know. I don't even know what to say about the story anymore. He had no you know, business doing if this. If there was, it, 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 and then, and then, to get the activists out of here, I, and you know, confess to it. I mean, I don't. I'm. Who I'm knows frustrated. where they're going with this? Well, the, I'm so, the, the defense hasn't no started where yet. Nowhere good to go with it. I tend to agree with you. I think that you know the jury is going to find him guilty on something. How much of it? Maybe three out of the four counts. I maybe hope he doesn't spend the, the rest King of his charge. life in prison. But man, he's made some uh, some really poor choices here in the way he went about this. You know, it it, it got to a point. I'm sorry to tell you, folks. Like. Uh, you know, I don't think even beating the kingpin charge, which I guess is the thrust of their case, which is it just seems like it's so trying far. to beat the kingpin charge, which I first of all don't think he's going to do, and then even if he does, he's still looking at easily a life sentence on drug and conspiracy and computer hacking. At charges. least the rest of his, you know, regular adult life. Right. To uh, the uh, the old age of, I don't know, probably will be out of jail in his 70s or something like that, maybe. There you go. So, maybe. I mean, at this point, it's like, you know, sorry, soldier. You know, this one's dead. Pick well, up his rifle and keep marching. I mean, obviously, it looks bad now, right? Because, well, it's the prosecution's case. Oh, you know, it because he the confessed. Secondary. You know, <laughs> I'm not worried about what the prosecution said. I'm worried about his defense attorney getting up and be like, yep, we totally did it, dude. And we're not going for jury nullification. Like we're gonna. That's a problem. Yeah. We're not trying to nullify a jury. Can't. We're actually sending jury yeah. nullification activists out of here, and we're confessing to the crime. And then we're gonna ask you to do what? Say that he didn't do it. This is ridiculous. Well, let's get into the story here. I mean, I agree with you. It's it's frustrating from this perspective, but I think. You know, it would only be fair to really make a statement like that after the defense at least has a chance to put on a case. They haven't had that chance yet. And who knows what, you know, maybe they've got an ace up their sleeve. We really don't know. I mean, they did turn it around on that first witness when, or I think it was the first witness, when the allegations about uh, Mark Carpellis, the guy who was running MT Gox, came out and say, suggesting that he was actually, in point of fact, uh, Dread Pirate Roberts later on. So we still don't know what the defense's angle is on this, and I am looking forward to hearing about that. Yeah, but- maybe they'll go and throw bags of dope to the jury (laughs) well actually they did have a dope dealer on the stand apparently today irs special agent gary alford this is from uh arstechnica.com showed a jury personal emails from ross ulbrich's gmail account that prosecutors say line up with chats and other records from the silk road drug trafficking site in 2013, Alford searched through the Gmail account belonging to Ulbrich, the 30-year-old Texan who stands accused of being the mastermind behind the Silk Road drug trafficking site. Alford's testimony today compared information found on Ulbrich's computer, including Silk Road expense sheets and chats with administrators, which the defense seems to be suggesting were somehow planted. I don't know how they're going to end up trying to prove that claim, because that just seems pretty far-fetched unless the suggestion is the feds actually planted them there right the government really wanted to get ross albrecht to uh they didn't know didn't even have as a suspect but uh two weeks before the the arrest yeah yeah. Uh, planting emails about drug dealing on this drug dealer's gmail account is completely out of line well no the drug drug dealing emails were not on his gmail account they uh, ostensibly found all that on the silk road oh i'm sorry it's like they're comparing like the writing style or something so i'll show you what they're doing here so alfred's testimony today compared information found on his computer with the Uh, with his Gmail account and his Facebook posts. They weren't able to show any direct mentions of the Silk Road on his Gmail or Facebook. Instead, they associated emails from his personal life and receipts for travel and electronics with data found on his laptop, which was open to a Silk Road management page, allegedly, when he was arrested in San Francisco. For instance, Ulbricht was researching Dominican citizenship. Uh, That's Dominica, not the Dominican Republic. On May 1st of 2012, he sent emails to three people asking if they would be his references for his citizenship application. We'll tell you what that's all about here in a moment and why uh, they say it matters. 855-450-FREE, the latest on the Silk Road trial, is coming up. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges. 
This is Davi Barker from ShinyBadges.com, and I just want to personally apologize for airing a jingle week after week, month after month, that turned out to be such an infectious brain worm. So to make it up to you, I'm offering a free gift. The next time you make a purchase at ShinyBadges.com, write worms in the transaction comments, and I'll send you something weird. Inventory isn't about products, kid. It's about money. Products sitting on shelves is money sitting on shelves. I hate overstock. I hate understock. I hate wasting time. I hate wasting money. That's why I love Granger. Granger Keep Stock Solutions help us manage our facility's inventory so we have exactly what we need when we need it. No more, no less. It's inventory management my way. Get it? Got it? Good. Visit Granger.com slash Keepstock for more information. Granger, for the ones who get it done. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right, General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for $35,000. You heard right, that's 5,000 square feet for $35,000. Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for $129,000. You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows you can't afford to wait so call 866-91-STEEL lock in your price now call 866-91-STEEL that's 866-917-8335 why did you move to the shire i moved here to the shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as i do I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here. And I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges. This is Davi Barker from ShinyBadges.com, and I just want to personally apologize for airing a jingle week after week, month after month, that turned out to be such an infectious brain worm. So to make it up to you, I'm offering a free gift. The next time you make a purchase at ShinyBadges.com, write worms in the transaction comments, and I'll send you something weird. You can interact with other LRN listeners in our message board at forum.lrn.fm. That's forum.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Dial toll-free here at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We're going over some of the testimony from today's Silk Road trial with Ross Ulbricht, the man accused of operating the Silk Road. He admitted in the opening statements to being the creator of the site, but then claimed through his attorney that he actually uh, abandoned the site at some point, gave it up to another operator, but yet was somehow lured back to be the fall guy. And how they're going to end up making this, these claims and when the defense takes the, the stand later on in the case, I don't know. But it sure will be fascinating to watch, especially if Ross himself does take the stand. And there has been some talk that that might actually transpire. And, and was that 
dang old leprechaun kept on taunting me <laughs> and telling me to come back. <laughs> Ah, we'll get into uh, the details here. You can join us online. Go to freetalklive.com. Join Chris Cantwell on his website, ChristopherCantwell.com. Chris, what's uh, some of the fresh content on your website? I don't even know if I should say it on Free Talk Live. I've been I've been a, a vulgar, despicable excuse for a human being lately. Starting when? Um, I mean, it's been going on for quite a while, but <laughs> yeah. I, I, I pick dip, one, pick one. So I dipped into the uh, the Brad Spangler scandal of this. Um, a guy who was a co-founder at the the Center for a Stateless Society is like a a lefty libertarian outlet. Apparently, uh, got uh, got decided to openly confess on Facebook to molesting a young family member, mm. and I decided to uh, be very uh, cruel towards this uh, this individual. And that you know seems like a, a reasonable enough thing to do but I, I made it a very political point and people didn't like that much and then his victim actually came out and decided to make a uh a political point out of her victimhood so i smashed her on the front page of my website and all people all people are all sorts of upset about that and it's, i'm glad it's all there over at christophercantwell.com as uh, we go back to the story here from arstechnica.com so they're digging through uh, the feds in this case an irs investigator digging through Ulbricht's emails and comparing his emails and Facebook account to some of the posts made on the Dread Pirate Roberts account. So, for instance, they know that from his emails, o Ross Ulbricht was researching Dominica citizenship. He sent emails to people asking them to be his references. He wrote, quote, All you would have to do is write a half page testifying to my outstanding character. Should be easy. And then a little, what do you call it with a tongue face? The sticky outy tongue yeah, uh, motocon sticky outy tongue colon p but what p let me okay so you want to get a, a, a citizenship to dominica or whatever and that's yep. all fine and dandy but why i mean what difference does it make whether it He'd still have been significantly better off as a U.S. citizen in any one of 190 countries around the world mm. while he was doing what he was doing. I mean, this is the cart before the horse. I'm going to investigate citizenship while I'm in the country running the world's biggest uh, you know, drug online drug marketplace as the most wanted human on the planet. Ulbricht uh, wrote this to his friend. I guess this is you know you know I should I should let it lie because I mean this guy is kicking himself mentally yeah. every single night while as he goes to sleep in county jail. He knows he he's may. In, I don't know if he's in county jail. He may actually be in federal holding somewhere. Well, that's I'm not a, sure. Okay, so he's in a county yeah. jail because federal holding is usually Sometimes. just money uh, for being held and. You know, they usually they don't have too many federal holding units. I'm pretty sure they got one in New York. In Manhattan. Yeah, New, the Manhattan would be the place for it. Explained that Dominican citizenship would help him, quote, diversify internationally, unquote. He said he might look into opportunities such as ETF trading, which he saw as amenable to non-citizens. Travel receipts in Ulbricht's email also lined up with chats with Silk Road admins recovered from his laptop. Over the course of November 14th and 15th, he traveled from Austin to Dominica. Then the government showed a chat from Ulbricht's laptop where myself told a Silk Road admin late on November 15th, quote, I'm done traveling for a little while anyway. So again, he was traveling November 14th and 15th to Dominica. And then on the 15th, the Dread Pirate Roberts told another admin he was done traveling for a little while anyway. Then Ulbricht's email shows a record of a return flight to Austin arriving December 5th. Now, myself is how the chat on the Silk Road uh, identifies the default users. So prosecutors say that in chats they retrieve from Ulbricht's computer, myself is Ulbricht, acting in his role as Dread Pirate Roberts. Investigators were also able to connect Ulbricht's email to the few references that Dread Pirate Roberts made to his personal life. Another myself slash DPR chat with a staffer took place on February 10th of 2013. In that chat, DPR says he just got back from a weekend away. Quote, one of the best I've ever had, unquote. That lines up with Ulbricht's Facebook messages. Also, on February 8th, just two days before his return from the best weekend, he said he was going camping on a trip to Kent Lake with a friend named Renee. Investigators also recovered an extensive log describing Silk Road activity and, uh, uh, and referencing DPR's personal life as well. Again, the personal notes lined up with some of Ulbricht's email. The log entry for 9-11 through 9-18 of 2013 reads, quote, Got covered in poison oak trying to get a piece of trash out of a tree in a park nearby and have been moping, reads the log entry from September 11th through the 18th. That's what you get for good deeds. 
quote, went on a first date with Amelia from OKC, Oklahoma City, presumably. Both the no, um, uh, OK Cupid. OK Cupid. Oh, right. Okay, Cupid. Uh, both the date and the poison oak are referenced in Ulbricht's Gmail. So, again, that uh, the quote there was from his journal as DPR. Mm. And then in the Gmail, he's got uh, the poison oak reference uh, and the date. on. You, you know what the worst part of this is, is that the the itch wasn't actually from the, uh, the, the, the poison, poison oak. oak. <laughs> it was actually from the date. Poor Amelia. <laughs> on September 19th, he emailed Julia, apparently his one-time love interest, writing to her, quote, I have poison oak rash from head to toe. Amelia. That was just the excuse <laughs> that he was using for his I wish girlfriend. You were here to comfort me, he says. So again, he references the poison oak uh, the, or DPR references the poison oak in the alleged logbook, and then also he references it in an email to his former girlfriend. There's also an email from from the OK Cupid dating site where he received messages from a user named Amelia M. Defense lawyer Joshua Draytel began his cross examination shortly before lunch, and debates over evidence began shortly thereafter. Alford researched Silk Road extensively, including examining DPR's public posts, just as Officer Der Yegahan had done in the Chicago office. Draytel has attempted to ask uh, wide-ranging questions about Alford's investigation into the site, while prosecutors are seeking to limit the scope of his cross-examination strictly to what Alford talked about during his direct testimony. Draytel's cross-examination continued after lunch, and that's where the story ends from today at ArsTechnica.com. Um, and as I said, there's other news from today, including a heroin dealer who took the stand. Interestingly, the heroin dealer... Didn't even know Ross Ulbricht. He had no communications with Dread Pirate Roberts, so I'm not sure why this testimony is being allowed in the case. It seems entirely irrelevant uh, to what was going on, but we can you know, get more details about that here in a moment. Anand is on the line in Mineola. You're on Free Talk Live, Anand. Oh, hello. I just wanted to talk about expressing liberty ideals to people, and sometimes I feel like when I talk on Facebook with other libertarians, it feels like libertarian ideals are so self-evident. But sometimes when I express it to other people, like my friends or family, the ideals come out so wrong that they get confused. And sometimes I feel like I have a part of a problem because I sometimes express them poorly or I don't express them as clearly as I should and probably could. Mm. You Can you give an way? example of how you feel yeah. a conversation went, went the wrong direction? Well, for example, recently when I was talking about roads and in India where – you probably know that in the roads that people are feel free to unload, so to speak, on the roads, and then they feel I free said, to what on the roads? Well, like pee or sometimes poop on roads in India. And let's explain this. My brother said thought that since I'm a libertarian, I oppose a lot of laws and regulations that I would likely oppose government laws and regulations on the roads to prevent this stuff. And when I tried to express that. I was instead support some form of regulation via private means. He said that how they own it, and I said, then I said that some people would homestead roads, and then they would own it, and then prevent that stuff from happening. And the way it happened was that they didn't exactly understand it the way I put it, and thus there was some confusion. And I feel like I caused some confusion there because I didn't express it as clearly as I should. Well, I would I say, you know, the the way it sort of started it off and on was that you, you felt that you were as if you were like part of the problem or something like that. And I want to assure you that that's not the case, right? I mean, the, the problem is that we have centuries of this indoctrination going on in human society. I mean, literally for generations, we've been taught that our victimizer is our best friend. And so this is not going to be easy to overcome. And you are, in fact, part of the solution. But the one thing I would say is that, look, there's there's a, a million different ways you can express any of these ideas, and trying to hone in on those arguments can make you a more effective part of the solution. But don't feel like you're part of the problem, Let's pal. talk about how we can do that here in a moment. Stand by, Anand. We'll bring you back in hour number three. Plenty of time for you with your thoughts and calls at 855-450-FREE or join us via Skype. Skype username here is lrn.fm. We can talk more about the Silk Road trial. There's more to reveal coming up here in moments, and you can take control of the airwaves. This is Free Talk Live. 
Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. Nothing compares to a good cup of coffee. But if you're getting your coffee from the store, you're likely not getting a good cup of coffee. Free Talk Live's teamed up with BuzzBox to bring you a free pound of the best of the best coffee, shade-grown, organic, top 1% grade Arabica. But what's different is that for every 10 people that get coffee through our link, coffee.freetalklive.com, we can give another micro loan through Kiva. When the loan's paid, we lend the money again. Help others, one cup at a time, coffee.freetalklive.com. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates. Online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Wednesday, January 28th, 2015. Gold is trading at $1,291, silver at $18.08, and Bitcoin is trading around $256. Today's Bitcoin price brought to you by ExpressCoin, the fastest, most reliable way to buy Bitcoin. Buy Bitcoin today at ExpressCoin.com. Extreme weather, from droughts lasting for weeks and torrential rainstorms robbing the country of vital crops for food, to snowstorms of 70 inches plus, stopping cities in their tracks. Supporting your family through these difficult times is what eFoods Direct does. Go to eFoodsDirect.com slash LibertyBeat or call 800-620-5520 to learn more about food security in a time of crisis. In the news, a Detroit jury has found open carry activist Elijah Woody not guilty of felony concealed carry in a case the Detroit police described as open and shut. They claim to have dash cam footage proving that Woody had a handgun concealed beneath a puffy coat that police described as tucked behind the weapon but also flopped over the top as well. Kirsten Tynan is the executive director of the Fully Informed Jury Association. Mr. Woody was very clear in expressing his innocence, and I wouldn't just take law enforcement at their word when they claim this is an open and shut case. I don't think we can chalk this up as a win by jury nullification based on the information we have right now, but it is clearly a case of jurors doing justice. They protected a peaceful citizen from being sent to prison, essentially by the fashion police, for an allegedly excessively puffy coat. If convicted, Woody would have faced up to five years in prison, as well as potentially losing legal recognition of his right to keep and bear arms. The author of a best-selling book about Twitter is currently at work on an investigative book about the now-defunct Silk Road Deep Web website. New York Times columnist Nick Milton has a deal with Portfolio for a detailed narrative. The Associated Press reports the book is currently untitled and no publication date has been set. According to Portfolio, 20th Century Fox has acquired rights to a Silk Road film based in part on Bilton's book. The accused creator of the Silk Road, Ross Ulbricht, is currently on trial in New York City in connection with the black market aspects of the website. The Liberty Beats on-site Silk Road trial coverage comes from the Free State Project, where thousands of liberty-loving activists are moving to New Hampshire, including Ross Ulbricht's mother, Lynn. Get 101 reasons to move into an amazing and growing community of awesome libertarians and voluntarists at freestateproject.org. The Liberty Beat is also sponsored by Justice Ranger's Bitcoinism.LibertyMe. 
thoughts on Bitcoin and the future digital economy. Check out the blog at bitcoinism.libertyme. This is the Liberty Beat for Wednesday, January 28th, 2015. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. On Monday, a sixth grade student in Yemen was killed by a U.S. drone strike. The National Organization for Drone Victims said Mohammed Taimit, who was between 11 and 13 years old, was one of three people killed in the strike. Mohammed's father and older brother had also been killed by a drone strike in 2011. Authorities claim that three male members of al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula had been killed. Reuters reported that the boy was a militant, but NODV says he was just a normal kid. A 17-year-old teenager was shot dead by Longview police in Texas after allegedly brandishing a weapon. On Thursday evening, Christiana Coignard was at the Longview police station when officers say she came at them with a weapon. Three officers and other witnesses were present. The officers did not use a taser or other less-than-lethal methods, but rather shot the unarmed teenager dead. No weapon has been produced, and police have yet to release audio or video from the lobby cameras. The hacktivist collective Anonymous has released a video calling for protesters to stand up to lethal force on children. For more on this story, visit theantimedia.org. Today's broadcast of the Liberty Beat is made possible by Midas Resources Incorporated, helping clients convert their paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver. Get their 10 Reasons book free by calling 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Support also comes from Central Texas Gunworks, your online source for firearms, firearm accessories, and ammunition. They take major credit cards and now accept Bitcoin. Visit them online at shop.centraltexasgunworks.com. This is the Liberty Beat for Wednesday, January 28th, 2015. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan reporting, reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. People love photography, but when we thought about photography, we realized one thing. Humans are limited to looking at photos with our eyes. That's a problem, right? So we made an app, PicSong, the first program that turns your photos into music if you want to do that for some reason. It puts the power in your hands. You get to decide why you need this. I can't tell you why you need this. It's not my job. Who is this app for? Maybe it's for students, or artists, or blind people. But can it turn your music into photos? No, it can't. Do you get to keep the original photo? No, it gets deleted. Always back up your photos before using PicSong. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. You are invited here to take control of the airwaves. We can talk more about the Silk Road trial. Ross Ulbricht in court again today in my, uh, Manhattan in what is week number three of what could be a six-week trial. We are continuing coverage here on Free Talk Live. And uh, big thanks to the folks over at the Liberty Beat for doing a great job of covering things there in Manhattan at thelibertybeat.com. We'll continue with that here in moments. Plus, Chris Cantwell brings a gun to the New Hampshire State House. We'll explain what happened with that situation. And if we get the chance, the elementary school poop inspection. Very disturbing story that Mark has uh, brought in to share with us here tonight. But we've got Anand on the line here who is having difficulty communicating the ideas of liberty with people in fam you know family and friends and this is a situation that everyone has had all liberty minded people who especially when you're new to the ideas you want to share them with all of the people you care about and inevitably that's going to run up against some problems i mean mark chris can you relate to this uh, I basically just defood as a result of this. What does that I, mean? I have departure from my family of origin. I haven't really been speaking to them. Uh, I went, as we discussed on here, I sort of went home for like the Christmas break and then got into this and I was just like, you know what, I can't do this anymore. Uh, and it's and it's extraordinarily frustrating because I mean, when you This is after how many years? 
Well, this is after, uh, you know, uh, I don't want to... You're not new to libertarianism. No, I mean, I've, I've been at this since uh, not very long, uh, 2009. So you what know, you're saying I, is since I would 2000... go so far as to say that I'm better at articulating these ideas than a lot of other people. And even in that situation... You still can't get anywhere. It's still You still can't get anywhere. And it's one of these things that, like, I get, I get really upset by it because what they're really saying is that they choose the state over me, right? That they're mm. saying, well, if you disobey the state, well, then the state should kidnap and cage and yeah. threaten your life and do all sorts of horrible things to you and i've been locked up twice man i don't take it lightly that people are saying that i should be in prison you know it, it's a really sick offensive thing to say to somebody and when when your family members will do that it's it it hurts so and that can make it even more difficult to articulate your point because then there's a bunch of emotion thrown into it and this is no longer just a discussion about economics so anand are you still with us i think we still have anand here I brought him back. Yeah, I'll still, you are there. Yeah, okay, great. So I'm still on there. I'm listening. You know, I would I would say too to the, to the more specific thing. I mean, when you had tried to explain sort of the roads thing to 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 your which to is your a people. tough issue. Well, I I'm not sure that it is. I mean, there's a lot of different ways that you could address it. One of the things that I've tried to say is like, all right, let's try to imagine like a dis uh, an orderly dissolution of the state. The state's going to go away. Well, the state has a lot of debts. You know, the state has debts and it has assets, so it can auction them off. Right. So there's a lot of roads. Roads are valuable services. Everybody wants roads, you know, because the government stifles innovation and we don't all have personal flying machines yet. But that's besides the point. Uh, you say, hey, the, the state has assets and, and and debts. So let it auction off its assets to pay its debts and dissolve itself like any good bankrupt corporation. Right. I think that uh, like most people won't deny that what we talk about is morally superior here on Free Talk Talk. The ideas of liberty are morally superior. Now, how do we get from... A lot of good that does you right, in a conversation. Right. How do we get from here to there can really be... like a, It's a big sticking point. And yeah, that's where the that, strategies differ. I'm sorry, what's that? This is where the strategies differ. Some advise strategic right. Leninism, some advise a peaceful stuff like that. So I would address it that way. I would say, uh, you know, first off, I would try to get them to agree that what you propose, this imaginary world of the uh, where the ideas of liberty are, uh, the, you know, the moral compass, um, is superior, and then ask them, how do you think we could go from government ownership of the roads to? Because the more you can get them, them to, because yeah. if they can answer the questions, then their minds working. They're on the it. ones coming to the conclusion. If you're case, bringing yeah. to the table on a silver platter um, the uh, the steak that they're going to then cut up, then that's just their. Th you've given them the job. The job is to cut up your steak. Tell them to go in the, the kitchen to cook the steak. So something I'd like to add in here is that sometimes the situation can uh, and the circumstances of these conversations can be important. So are you kind of pushing these conversations on people? Like you sit down to the dinner, no, dinner table and— No, I don't really push conversations on that. Sometimes they come up and they invite— since a lot of people know that I'm a libertarian, that inevitably comes up. So uh, then they inquire of you. Okay, that's usually the best situation is where they're inquiring something of you— um, so that's good that you're not pushing things on them. What I would also recommend is that you check out the Advocates for Self-Government. They do really good work on helping people become better communicators because as what you were saying last hour, Chris, is certainly true. I mean, we've got some great ideas and even though we're good at communicating them, sometimes it just doesn't work. But we can be better, right? You can start out at X, yeah. and you can be X times two as far as being, you know, a better communicator of these ideas. Right, and and if you want to be a better communicator, what are the what are the things that I think? Because really, at the center of all this is economics, and and that I think is really paramount. So if you go to libertyclassroom.com and oh, yeah. enter in code FTL, you can get Tom Woods Liberty Classroom, an entire year of it for just twenty bucks. The code's only good for twenty four hours from the time Tom was on the show. That's a great so point. So that would actually he, he he was talking about it earlier. I don't know if you caught it but they go through like a, a, a regular economics book and then give it a point by point critique i would definitely suggest checking that out okay by the way i'd like to add that as i read christopher candle's article on being a libertarian it sort of inspired me to want to become a better communicator of liberty and to better articulate it and to better use my knowledge 
Cool. Well, I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad I'm, I could inspire you to do that, man. So, yeah, yeah, uh, no, you know, just good. read, 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 read. The study, folks man. At the Advocates for Self Government. If you go to theadvocates.org, they've got all kinds yeah. of books and information on how to be a better communicator. And Anon, thanks for the call tonight. I appreciate yeah. hearing from you. The toll free number is eight fifty five four fifty free. M K Lords is on the line, and uh, presumably in Florida. M K, you're on Free Talk Live with Ian, Chris, and Mark. Hey guys, thanks for having me. I'm really enjoying the discussion about how to spread some kind of controversial ideas. I think it's really difficult and I think something we can all agree on is that these things need to be done with finesse and uh, you know, you, you need to be kind of careful with how you talk to some people about things um, and you can still have that extreme edge. So I had a couple questions for Chris about an article that he wrote that you referenced and kind of, you know, kind of very briefly in the last segment. Um, Chris, uh, I want to ask first, um, did you think that your ideology was perfect or beyond uh, reproof around the time you were 20? And do you think that it's hypocritical to pick on a sexual assault survivor after they've been asked to be left alone? Because libertarianism seems like it's very similar to leave me aloneism. And I think if someone asks to be left alone, that it might be a respectful thing to do. If you guys want to discuss this, I'll do it after she's off. I'm happy to do that. She's you, a spammer and a dishonest You don't want to talk person. to uh, I don't want to talk to her. I think this is a discussion about libertarian ethics and tactics. And I'm uh, happy to have a discussion about libertarian ethics and tactics with my co-host. But you've blocked me on all of the other outlets. I have, yeah, because I'm really not interested on, in helping so. you promote your garbage. Well, it's, it's philosophy, isn't it? I mean— I don't see any philosophy coming from you. I asked two, uh, two pretty solid questions. I mean— I think it's so uh, kind of hypocritical to pick Chris? on someone who wants I'm, I'm to I'm happy to alone. talk to you guys about it after she's off. I'm not. I'm not going to get into a conversation. Oh come on, with you're her. a big boy, Chris. I am a big you boy, can totally and you are handle not. This. this is this is a really easy conversation for you. It is. So go ahead. I mean, I think you should tell, take a tell crack us all at about it. that. I'm not. Article. I'm not acknowledging really her. Do you understand? Like this is. I'm doing this because I'm on the live radio and I have to say something. But she's not getting any acknowledgement from me. I'm not doing her or Michael Dean or any of those idiots. I'm not doing it. I'm not giving them anything. What if I sort of re-asked the question? I mean, were you picking on the girl? Hang up the phone, and then you can ask me any question you want. Yeah, he actually called out a sexual assault victim who asked to be left alone. Yeah, it's on the front page of my website. I'm not exactly shy about it, sweetheart. If you want to talk about it, you can hang up on this woman, and then I'll talk to you. Pathetic to exploit a tragedy for clicks on your site. And what are you doing right now? Um, I'm challenging you on that. Okay, on so you're you not you're not fishing for Facebook likes when you go jump into all of this mess. You old people did Center why, for a Stateless Society. Did Center for a Stateless Society go and exploit it when they went this on their social justice you, rant, Chris. blaming it on rape culture and the patriarchy? Does this anybody go after? Uh, does anybody go after the social justice warriors who go and try to make yes, their political point that day, way? Actually. Then go do it. <laughs> well, I, I'm so anti-social justice warrior. It's not yeah, even funny. Sure. But this if, isn't about them. It's about you. So uh, I'm calling you on your philosophy and your ideology. Well, MK, thanks for the call tonight. We'll see if Chris can respond after the fact. Uh, and okay. I, I, I appreciate hearing from you. Uh, and so. I, I feel like, Chris, I mean, I looked at the article she's referencing. It's at ChristopherCantwell.com. I feel like you weren't throwing it in anybody's face. You just posted it to your blog. I mean, you didn't email it to her, did you? No. All right, more coming up. Free Talk Live. In a trial by jury, the primary function of a juror is not to dispense punishment to the accused. It is to protect your fellow citizens from being unjustly deprived of their life, liberty, or property. As a juror, you can say no to unjust laws and prevent government abuses of power by refusing to convict. Legislative, executive, judicial, the fourth branch of government is we the people. Find out more from the fully informed jury association at FIJA.org. Khalid lives in Gaza. He makes his living as a taxi driver. The engine in his old beater blew up. Now, he makes good money driving people in his cab, but he couldn't afford the $1,300 for a new engine. Free Talk Live helped him get a loan for the engine, and he's back on the road. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference. One cup at a time. Get a free pound to try out the subscription. Cancel anytime. Coffee.freetalklive.com. 
Gold isn't for you? Ted Anderson, president of Midas Resources, one of the world's premier gold and precious metal investing firms. I get it. You wouldn't buy gold if you believed that the government is doing a great job, that the Fed will stop handing out trillions of dollars like bailout candy, that Social Security would be there for you. That's not what's happening. You might even pass on gold if the stimulus package wouldn't fuel inflation, or that the dollar wouldn't lose value, or that your retirement would be secure. If all looks rosy to you, then now is not the time to buy gold. For the realists, there have never been more sobering reasons to diversify with gold. Since 2001, the U.S. dollar index has tanked 30% while gold has risen 300%. Right now, savvy investors are adding gold to their portfolios. You should too. Find out what they know. Call us and I'll send you 10 reasons why gold will do very well, free. 800-686-2237. 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. So the protection of life, liberty, and property is, is what the Free State Project is all about. But it's an, it's an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a freer, great place to live. It's the world's largest voluntarist, libertarian community, and it's, it's only getting bigger. That's amazing, to be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do, though, is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying, let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas. There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com, 101reasonsfilm.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to mymagicmud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin, mymagicmud.com. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live. You can dial in toll-free here, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We finally found the line that uh, crossed Chris Cantwell. He is furious at that last uh, caller here, ranting uh, during the break. Not and that it's unusual for me to get furious with callers. Yeah, but super furious. Do like, you have a blood pressure cuff, by the way? I don't. You need to get one, buddy. <laughs> you think he's got high blood pressure? <laughs> it's, it's only a matter of time. I, I dealt with the New Hampshire State Legislature all day today, and I handled that just fine. And then I come on Free Talk Live, and I, and I have to shut people down. You know, the thing is, and I'll, and I'll just tell you, I'm happy to talk about the issue with pretty much anybody else. Uh, that The issue. All right, let's recap real quick yes. here. Uh, we had a caller in the last segment uh, that called you out in regards to a recent article you posted at ChristopherCantwell.com. You mentioned it earlier in the show yeah, tonight. Yeah, it wasn't exactly calling me out. I mentioned it. It's on the front page of my website. It's not a gotcha moment. But, but what she said about it was essentially that, and I didn't write down exactly the, the questions, but uh, what she said about it was that this young lady was a victim of sexual assault, a victim of child molestation by her own father, by his own admission. Right. Uh, at least he posted a Facebook post and, you know, this kind of exploded on the Internet in the libertarian world. I believe Cantwell uh, recently. referred to him as, as a lefty kid toucher. Yes. Yeah. And so you wrote an article about the whole situation, but also one about his daughter. And the headline was what? Um, uh, 
Oh, what was the, the worst thing he oh, put the inside worst, her? The worst thing Brad Spangler put inside his daughter was ideology. Was his ideology. Which is, you know, a really hor- horrible, despicable thing to say. Let me just start off by acknowledging that I did a horrific thing, and I did it because a lot of other people were thinking about it, and I'm the guy who provides that service, okay? But the reason you, you wrote this piece was because... The young lady apparently wrote something, right? So yeah. so the claim was from the caller earlier was that, well, this girl didn't want to be uh, picked on, that she didn't want to be harassed, that she didn't want to you know, talk about this or something like that, and that yet you had brought this, this up unnecessarily. But you were responding to something that she wrote addressing the situation, which was very political which sounding. Which it right? was very political sounding, and she named my article specifically, right? So that, you know, the whole Her entire- article about the dad. Yeah, she named you she named she she that. said that she didn't like that I called her dad a lefty kid toucher, right? Okay. And she didn't like uh and basically she said I want this to be a call to action uh to raise awareness about rape culture and that we have to do away with the patriarchy, okay? So, when I'm listening to a situation where this guy who who I hated him for years, Spangler. He's a piece of garbage. His his whole thing was to, to 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 bash capitalism and try to mix that up with libertarianism. These people are enemies of the human race as far as I'm concerned. Him and the entire Center for a Stateless Society and all these socialist lunatics who are trying to make that look like freedom and they get to travel around real comfortably in libertarian circles. It makes me sick that that happens. And then I see that this piece of garbage diddled his own daughter, It got probably got drunk, I'm imagining the guy was drunk, confessed to it on Facebook and said he was going to go turn himself in by going walking to McDonald's and waiting for a cop to show up and apparently <laughs> just like didn't do that, right? So this scumbag goes on for nine paragraphs, eight of them about himself, and just briefly mentions, oh, by the way, I raped a child, right? So I'm not too happy with this uh, with yeah. this individual. And so, yeah, I said some uh, some really nasty things about him. And apparently there's, you know, things being said about him all over the internet, but his daughter feels fit to come out and say one article that she needs to mention about is the one that calls him a lefty kid toucher and boils it down to, hey, so- what did you think? This guy was trying to reconcile anti-capitalism with libertarianism. Probably wasn't his only bad idea. And I ripped him apart on his political points and just condemned him as a child molester in the process. Mm-hmm. And that's why she took issue with it. So she comes out and she writes this thing and she uh, basically blames her child molester, anti-capitalist, lefty social justice warrior father raping her on rape culture and the patriarchy and that just made me sick so so it wasn't his fault it was rape culture and the patriarchy rape culture and the patriarchy and center for a stateless society did the same despicable thing with it i'm furious with these people yeah I, i i didn't think that her like her statement is her statement right like this is her this is her crisis as far as i'm concerned um but she but what she said didn't, to me, point enough fingers at um, what Brad Spangler did and pointed more at sort of, I mean, what's the patriarchy except a bunch of men, right? So, like, guys are responsible for this. You're blaming the male gender. You're blaming society. And look, these liberal scumbags who spread this stuff, they want the entire society. You understand if it's an abused child, sort of, I blame society for everything. You can sort of get that. But these people, they want everyone to behave like abused children, okay? He turned that girl into a raving lunatic, and you think she might have walked into a couple of voting booths with all of that mess? You know, this is what creates the world that we live in that I get so sick of that I have to go to Concord and talk to these lunatics. <laughs> I mean, it's it's absolutely... I connect the dots a little bit better in the article. Yeah. Okay, I'm so, just ranting now. Yeah. But so, okay, well, I think that um, one thing that uh, M.K. Lords was pointing out there don't is that- say her name again <laughs> while I'm on this show. Okay. What what she was pointing out was is that uh, you'll find yourself uh, you'll find the most recent story and you'll write an article about it and sometimes that gets you in hot water. What do you what do you think about 
you know, you promoting your website on the back of this uh, this this My terrible My job is to be in hot water. And I'll tell you what, it's a valuable service that I provide to all you people who get to sit comfortably in whatever career you're still able to have, okay? Because a lot of you out there thought exactly what I said, and that's the most common feedback that I get in my private messages. I wish I could say what you said. That, that exactly. Kind of because people know that it's true, but it's unpopular and cruel, and they don't want to be the guy who does it. My job is to be in hot water for all of those people, and I'm very good at it, and I'm not sorry. There you go. Let's go to your phone calls and thoughts. Let's talk to, I believe we have Nick in Cleveland listening on LRN.FM. Hello, Nick. Yeah, hi, guys. I was uh, so enthralled by that conversation, I almost forgot why I was calling. All right. Um, I, I do like what Wendy McElroy said about this issue, though, uh, vis-a-vis that girl. You know, She said, I, I don't blame the man who mm. – I don't blame the patriarchy. I blame the man who raped me. Exactly. Um, mm. And yeah, but anyway, uh, the thing I was actually going to address was the thing that Anand called about um, talking to his family about libertarianism. I think it's a huge mistake uh, for people to learn about the philosophy and then immediately go to their family. Yes, uh, because this is the lo- this is the best chance you have of converting somebody else because they trust you. And if you just go with kind of a half-assed argument to your family. They're going to shut down and not listen to you ever again. You should practice on the people in the street who you don't know. And then go to your family. I think everybody has it backwards uh, as far as the... Did that work for you? I, I, I think I think he's making a solid point. Uh, whether, I just don't see it happen Yeah, whether often. or not it actually pans out is another question, but I think your, your point is definitely solid. I mean, because I've had absolutely no success, ta- success talking to people who are sort of tangentially related to me. But I have had some success with my family. Like, this is the only area where I can actually get people to listen and can get them converted on certain issues. Nick, thanks. And I've been very careful to make sure that the arguments are rock solid before I do that. Thanks for the advice tonight, Nick. Appreciate the call. Toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. We're coming back with more Free Talk Live. Board up. We're in commercial break. Whenever you're ready. Pot them on up, unless my clock's wrong. So we're just going to vamp here for a moment because uh, our network is not sending the uh, commercials like they should unless there's some sort of drastic problem. No, we are still connected to the network. I'm sure at some point here our commercials are going to pop right come in. right on in on us. And so, yeah, we don't want to really cover anything too important here because all of this is going to be excised from the uh, the podcast. So if you're actually listening to us right now. You think it's on the radio? This? There's a chance this is actually on the radio. So, yeah, I wouldn't uh, use <laughs> What I wouldn't other. give to be sitting in my car and hearing that, that the, 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 the radio host are like, there's a chance this might be on the radio. So I guess <laughs> I'll, I'll wash my language. I yeah. was difficult for me to do that during that rant before, boy. I'm going to tell you, I was having a difficult time keeping him in. I know the board ops there because he's currently... There is no such thing as attention span, according to Jerry Seinfeld, who figures that people have an infinite attention span if you are entertaining them. Hey, he's kept us from channel surfing for several decades, and now he's making more millions as a Las Vegas headliner. With money and attention so scarce now, effective communication skills have never been more important, especially if you're looking for work. So choose every single word as though it was the last word the person you're speaking to will hear. Otherwise, it might be. Avoid redundancies such as added bonus, advance warning, end result, prior history, or personal belongings. And avoid cliches like the plague. Just kidding. For more tips, hit survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. Nothing compares to a good cup of coffee. But if you're getting your coffee from the store, you're likely not getting a good cup of coffee. Free Talk Live's teamed up with BuzzBox to bring you a free pound of the best of the best coffee, shade-grown, organic, top 1% grade Arabica. But what's different is that for every 10 people that get coffee through our link, coffee.freetalklive.com, we can give another micro loan through Kiva. When the loan's paid, we lend the money again. Help others, one cup at a time, coffee.freetalklive.com. 
You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Free Talk Live. Most people, when it comes to what the government demands about their property, the zoning board, or whatever department we're dealing with here that claims, that claims to have dominion over what you believe to be your property, most people just go along to get along because they understand that something nasty will happen if they don't. They understand that if they don't do what the people calling themselves government demand that they do, that eventually men with guns are going to come to their house, possibly just take it from them. And I think everybody inherently knows that there's a threat of violence behind what the government does. Oh, I know. You like to tell yourself stories about how it's the price of civilization to pay taxes. The price of civilization is zoning. It's the price of civilization to obey orders. Well, don't forget the pig farm excuse. Oh, sure, yeah. You if can, you didn't right. have zoning, somebody would open a pig farm right next door to you. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. You can put the Liberty Radio Network on the air in your area. Visit broadcast.lrn.fm to learn how. Broadcast.lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live. We'll take your calls about anything here. Toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Chris Cantwell went to Concord with a gun uh, today into the state house. It was his first time doing that. I went to confront the legislature <laughs> with a handgun. And uh, and a camera as well. We brought uh, some, uh, You brought a camera with. And so some of the footage from this will likely be up sometime at ChristopherCampbell.com. Yeah, likely sometime tomorrow we'll have that. I, I actually cut the video up, but I've got to do some audio editing. That audio level was kind of low. I'm going to bring some different gear next time. So uh, we'll get back into your calls and thoughts. Don't forget, if you need legal documents, to check out LegalZoom.com. We all need legal documents at some point in our lives, and you can go get them at LegalZoom.com. Significantly less costly than uh, hiring an attorney. Now, they're not attorneys over there, but they were started by one. What they'll do is they'll ask you questions and then generate the document out of that. They've been accepted in all 50 states. Millions and millions of people have used LegalZoom.com, and you can too. Whatever the reason might be, they've got pet protection there, wills, living trust, copyrights, deed transfers, leases, name changes, prenups, powers of attorney. It's LegalZoom.com. Use coupon code FTL, and you can save 10 bucks on the order. Now, these prices are quite low. This 10 bucks can be very significant. Uh, LegalZoom.com, coupon code FTL. But what if your legal paperwork has all caps? <laughs> that means that you're a corporation. Look, it's a conspiracy. Let's go to Michael. He's in Rhode Island. You're on Free Talk Live. Michael. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, yeah, I just wanted to touch on some things that, that Cantwell says. Sure. Um, so <laughs> it's funny him, him bringing the the revolver into the state house. It just goes along with the uh, the moniker that that um, the Colbert report put out about him being the enforcer, and that's just pretty funny to, in my book. Um, I had so a blast with it. Ask, yeah, man. I mean, I, that was I, I found the, the the hit piece hilarious. Like that that dude does good satire, whether he's he knows anything of libertarianism or not, right? Right like, on. The whole purpose of the show is to insult people. I I dig that. Um, but yeah, what I wanted to touch on is like, and I, I won't say her name, uh, I'll, I'll do you that. Thank um, you. I won't say her name, but yeah, this particular person who calls in, right? And, you know, you've written at least one piece that I'm aware of. It sounds like maybe more than that. Um, and like, I understand why you don't want to say her name. You don't want to throw traffic. Uh, hey, to, Michael, I'm sorry to interrupt. Can you just back away from your phone like an inch or two? I want to sure. see if that helps out at all. Go ahead. Yeah, is this better? A little bit, maybe. Go ahead with your thoughts. All right. Yeah, but, you know, I noticed that Cantwell doesn't want to bring her, her name up, and I, and I understand why. But um, isn't she throwing traffic your way as well? Like, she gave me the opportunity to write this 
not hit piece, but response to her hit piece on you guys, right? I don't, I look, the thing is that when you start to understand how these things work, you realize that traffic tends to flow in one direction, okay? And so the reason that people like uh, this uh, individual and the and the, the host <laughs> of the, the show that she's on attack me is because if I respond, I send traffic to them. I watch my traffic stats all day long, okay? My Google <laughs> Analytics window is literally open in a separate monitor on my computer. I know who's referring traffic to my website they're not doing anything for me it's all it's all it's all if if i respond to them it it does a disproportional good to them and they're being dishonest michael okay? wait a minute were you talking about when you're talking about her were you talking about the lady caller from earlier or were you talking about the the lady that chris cantwell wrote a response to on his blog yes yes the latter he, the latter Okay. Well, the, 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 the woman who wrote the response of I wrote, she didn't link I don't to you, even, did she? No, and I don't even know what her name is. Like, I literally don't even know who she is. This is something that was relayed to me later on. All you uh, know is that she's Brad Spengler's daughter. Right, exactly. It. So I don't, and I don't have any interest in getting into a discussion with her, or for that matter, no, really. No, 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 yeah. Yeah, no, that's not what I meant. I meant. The well, caller. Her name starts with an acronym, and it has two. Yeah, the, the caller from before. So she's not the one who. Right, right, right. The, she's not the one who was the the victim. Okay, but she's basically, you know, she found out that she could get a lot of attention drawn to her by attacking people who had a higher profile. Okay, and that's something that happens all of the time, and I'm really used to it. And uh, you I do it. You've done it in the past. Yes, right? I've done it before. Oh, right. Okay, you know, yeah, so it's it's a marketing strategy, and if people want to play the game, I'm I'm happy to play it with them. But it, when people are dishonest, when people go and uh, slander me as a a thief and a, a liar and a parasite and a welfare queen, and want to go out and uh, you know really just do it completely dishonestly, uh, they're li- They tell lies about me on that podcast uh, that airs on this network all of the time, and I'm just not going to help them be dishonest, traffic seeking spammers. Michael, thanks for your call tonight. Let's go to Richard in California. You're on Free Talk Live with Ian, Chris Cantwell, and Mark. Cantwell's fired up. He's as red as Mark sometimes gets. (laughs) I I called about the parking meters, you know, the uh, Robin Hooding, but in listening to your conversation, like, I'm I'm a parent, and uh, good good for you for, uh, you know, going after people who uh, do bad things with children. I mean, if somebody ever did any, nobody would ever be in a position to do anything to mine. But if something ever like that happened, like I, I would most certainly handle that on an extremely personal level. Yeah, it's it's a it's a thing that is is you know it's obviously terrible uh, that somebody does this to an individual, but it's like you know this is something that's a pervasive problem in the society, and it's something that creates a whole generation of people with really whacked out ideas about you know how human beings are supposed to interact. So especially when it's like a thought leader, when pe- when it's somebody that people are looking to. Uh, who who goes out and does something that horrific? It really needs the most the harshest condemnation possible. I think. Uh, I had to put Richard on hold there for a moment. Your line was going kind of bad. Go ahead, Richard. Okay. Uh, I'm I'm uh to get away from the uh the chomos. I'm I'm more curious. What's going on with the whole Robin Hood thing? Because my county has no parking meters or traffic lights. But whenever I go to the coast, I always end up getting a parking ticket, and it's like forty dollars. And Every time I've gone, I've always been putting uh, nickels in the meter. Just, you know, I mean, nobody there is into so it. So, to answer your question, thing. Robin Hooding, and thank you for the call tonight, Richard. We've got to let you go. The phone line's kind of wonky. Uh, but to uh, to answer the question, Robin Hooding is the act of placing coins in expired meters. It happens here in Keene, New Hampshire, on a fairly regular basis, though not as regular as it has been in the past. There used to be multiple people uh, on a weekly basis who were involved in doing it, and uh, now Garrett Ian is the, the primary uh, actor in the, the Robin Hooding. It's, so, it's still going going on um, and the Supreme Court case is still waiting a verdict so the uh, the case was that the city of Keene went after the folks who were putting coins in other people's expired meters and saving them from getting parking tickets they wanted to create a, a buffer zone around the parking enforcers of 50 fo- a 50 foot radius they backed down to 30 feet then they backed down to 10 feet and uh, in you know, it went to, to the Supreme Court so we haven't yet gotten the verdict on that it went to the court back in I think September. 
And basically, the court can rule whenever they damn well feel like it. They can rule, you know, in a week. They can rule in a month. They can rule in a year. They can rule in a hundred years. There's no uh, time frame as far as when it's likely going to come, probably sometime within the next six months. But who knows? So when that happens, we will certainly let you know here on Free Talk Live and also over at freekeen.com. Zach is in Minnesota on Skype. Zach, you're on Free Talk Live with the and Chris and Mark. Good evening, gentlemen. Hey, Zach. Um, and uh, Chris Cantwell, I don't know if you're watching the uh, the chat room, but um, somebody suggested that uh, we should auto tune you saying "Don't say Don't say her name." So I'm hoping that that actually happens. I'm going to set that as a ringtone on my phone. But um, <laughs> anyway, what I call you in use about- it for private calls whenever somebody calls blogs. It says "Don't say her name." <laughs> but uh, anyway, the reason I called. Um, so I was thinking a bit today, and it was actually what got me going was um, a post on the Free Talk Live um, Facebook page earlier. I forget exactly what it Oh, it was actually about the GoDaddy commercial that apparently was pulled. It, it featured a puppy supposedly, you know, being mistreated or whatever. And it, um, it got me thinking, you know, in a voluntarist world, would would animals be considered property? Yes. And I guess that's the first question. <laughs> well, let's talk more about it. Hang on, Zach. We'll bring you back for that. Toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. And by the way, when you call on Skype, you almost always sound better. Hardly ever have uh, issues where we have to you know, drop somebody off the line because the phone line's bad with Skype. So we'll bring back Zach. He's on Skype. The Skype username is lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. And now from the Cato Institute, the Cato Constitution Minute. The Declaration of Independence famously states that we all have the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. But what do we mean by the pursuit of happiness? Does it mean our happiness may come at the expense of other people? No, because that would deprive others of their rights. And the principle of equal rights rests at the heart of the Declaration. And our founders knew that a large federal government could threaten the pursuit of happiness. Simply put, the pursuit of happiness means liberty the right to pursue our occupations, our hobbies, our loves, our interests, to do what we think best for our own lives, while respecting the free choices of others, even if we disagree with the choices they make. And that is the liberty protected for us all by the U.S. Constitution. To learn more, visit the Cato Institute online at cato.org. Hey, guess what? They've got some great deals for Valentine's Day at Guns80.com. They're calling it the Sweetheart Special. Guns80.com has lowered the price way down to 400 bucks up until Valentine's Day. Order your Ghost AR-15 now. Tell your sweetheart that this is the right gift at the right time. Buy one for yourself. Buy one for your sweetheart, too. Your sweetheart will thank you for being so tuned into his or her needs. Get a brand new Ghost AR-15 right now for 400 bucks. Heck, buy two. His and hers. Go to guns80.com or call and ask for the sweetheart deal. Love is in the air at guns80.com. Call now, 844-2-GUNS-80. That's 844-248-6780. It's a sweetheart of a deal. Actually, it's a steal at 400 bucks. So call guns80.com at 844-2-GUNS-80. But hurry, supplies are limited. Call 844-2-GUNS-80 or get your Ghost AR-15 today at guns80.com on the web. I've been told no in many different ways. I give you an order and you're going to obey it. Who told you you can go this way? You can do that and you have to leave here. You cannot bring Simon to the rally. Walk with me. Well, I'm, I'm, no, I'm comfortable me. here, actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, whoa. hey, hey, hey. 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 Who do you think you Excuse are? me. There is no video or audio allowed in this office. No, I have work today. This is... You ain't going to make it. Wait, no. Now. Wait a minute. Hey! Oh my god! Unbelievable! Unbelievable! Because you scared me! What am I being detained for? You're being served. What is this? You're being served. What is this? Bureaucrats have a funny way of telling people no. That's the sound of the men working on the chain. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at victimlesscrimespree.com. 
Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Did you know that Free Aid is a mutual aid, educational, and networking organization? At Free Aid, we support volunteers who provide first aid. We do outreach to the public about health and safety, and we bring together medically skilled freedom lovers. Free Aid is made possible by your generous support. Donors can receive great gifts like first aid kits, t shirts, silver dime cards, and hoodies. The Free Aid Silver Dime Card Project is sponsored in part by Roberts and Roberts Burkridge, Freedoms Phoenix, and Don't Tread on Meme. Visit fr33aid.com. You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at facebook.lrn.fm. That's facebook.lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live. Moments remain. Enough time here for you and your calls and thoughts. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Or better yet, join us on Skype at Skype username LRN.FM. With you tonight, you've got me, Ian. Cantwell. And Mark. And uh, if we get the chance, we will talk about Cantwell going to Concord today with a gun strapped to his hip in the state house. But first, we go back to Zach. Zach, you'd asked, uh, you were calling from Minnesota, and you'd asked about animals in a free marketplace. Can you recap kind of where you're coming from? Yeah, um, the the post that got me kind of going down this road in my head today was uh, on the Free Talk Live Facebook page. There was a, a post about a GoDaddy commercial that allegedly portrayed a puppy being some sort of mistreated, and it led to a whole comments in which I participated, um, taking either side, either pro, for, indifferent, whatever. Um, and unrelated to that, it just kind of took me down this rabbit hole of, you know, in a, in a voluntarist society without any state whatsoever, um, w- are animals considered property? And I guess that, that kind of, that's the first question. And, well, I'm pretty sure I, they're considered property right now yeah, for the most but part. But they have but... rights of sorts, right? Like you can't just gratuitously beat an animal in the United States. In India, uh, dolphins are considered well, unless uh, non-human that, unless persons. That, unless that animal is a man. <laughs> um, in New York, there was recently a habeas corpus case where a chimpanzee was being held at, I believe, a mobile home uh, or trailer sales place, and they were trying to get him uh, delivered out of there, which I think is really one of the most interesting cases that we've had regarding this, because um, I, I think there's a continuum, personally. I don't know why it is that uh, that human, the, 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 the Homo sapien primate is the only primate that we decide that, that can have rights, and the rest of the apes, uh, the great apes, for instance, nope, they, they can't have them. Well, you know, if... <laughs> As far as I'm concerned, animals are property, and everything that the government does to try to say animal rights is nonsense. I mean, we I would encourage you to check out the most recent episode of Some Garbage Podcast, where we were talking about a a man in Keen uh, affectionately referred to as the dog effer, and we don't we don't use effer on On Some some Garbage garbage podcast. Podcast. We say it full blown. And so there was a situation where a guy was, you know having sex with his animals and supposedly you know the story was that his animals were into it you know he flirted with them and they responded (laughs) what What a sick man so like look it's his dog right like who am i to tell this guy what to do with his dog and i don't think it's a good idea i certainly wouldn't do it with my dog if he did it to my dog i'd shoot him but you know it's his dog what am i supposed to say it's it's i have sex with objects that I own. Why can't he have sex with an animal that he does? Yeah, and, and I, I mean, so I'm I'm not trying to. I'm I'm gonna break out the slavery thing, but just hear me out. When I when I hear that, I almost think of almost the same kinds of arguments. It, it's kind of like, oh, that's his property. He can, but it's a living, breathing thing. And and I have a dog, and I know that that's kind of shaping how I view this. You well, know, I try to think. You don't and, let your dog go where it wants, do you? No, I, I absolutely do not. You slaveholder. 
Oh, yeah, right. And, um, <laughs> well, yeah, I think there's lines drawn everywhere here, and, and everybody draw, draws a line in a different place. Some people would say that even keeping a dog is against its rights. Right. No, just because uh, there's complexities doesn't mean there's not a moral argument to be had here, though, Ian, right? Would you agree that there are smart people and stupid people? Sure. Okay, great. Um, would you agree that there's smart chimpanzees and stupid chimpanzees? Likely that's the case. Okay, so can a smart, would a smart chimpanzee qualify for rights in your world when a stupid person certainly has them? Uh, well, I guess the, the question we were having, uh, we've had this discussion about rights in the past, and I like the idea that rights are an idea that humans agree on. Now, if another animal could agree on the concept of rights, then I think they should be afforded rights, absolutely. How, so how if you, you can get to the point of being able to communicate the idea of rights with a chimpanzee, then and the chimpanzee would agree to honor your rights, then how yeah, do you, you should honor its rights. How do you communicate the idea of rights to stupid people? Because I've noticed that there's a lot of people in the world that I just can't have conversations with the, with the abstract idea of human rights about. Basically, they just parrot crap they've been taught all their lives. Mm. Now, uh, you know, smart chimpanzees can speak um, in the sense that they, you know, you can use uh, mechanical objects uh, to, to to communicate and that sort of thing. Yeah. So, you know, what do they have to say? I am me. What, what what exactly? What what phrases? What word do they have to? Words do they have to string together to satisfy you that they are? The animal you have to play. Person. Are you smarter than a Furby to, to win the rights <laughs> argument? But uh, you know, my thing is, look, honestly, I. I I, I have some feelings about, you know, people abusing animals. I have personal feelings about that. But the the frankly, like when people what get be- into it, it's like, why does anybody there are human beings being murdered wholesale all mm. over the planet and the only way that you're going to unless somebody wants to come up with some different way, what are you going to have a government come in and say, Oh, you can't abuse your animal. We're well, gonna no, abuse you now. It's it doesn't just have the to be a government. Thing. It doesn't have to be a government. What about some market based solution? Solutions like dog napping. I mean, if you knew that if you were you live in a, a, a multiplex, uh, Chris, there's neighbors right nearby. If the dog effer was living next door to you and you knew what he was doing, would you, if you had the opportunity, or you could make the opportunity, uh, you know, by somehow grabbing the dog out of the backyard or whatever, if you had the chance to grab the dog and take it into a safe place. Would you do it? The temptation would exist, but I have no right to steal that man's property. And, and Ian, I'm glad you brought that up because that, that kind of goes to my next point. Would you do it if it was a small child? I can act as the agent of the child because the child, the child is not The child may not property. be able to communicate. Well, do you, I don't need the child to communicate. Well, the, do- the dog's not going to be able to communicate either. What's the difference? It, b- because it's not a human being. And this is, I am. The I DNA am, dis- is very, very, you know, similar. 96%. Well, if, it's it, if the close. DNA is so similar, then Higher why is that. it not okay for this guy to screw his dog? Well, I don't think it's okay necessarily. Well, I'm saying you're saying you're if 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 the DNA is so similar, then why don't we just say that this guy can screw his dog then? If it's so similar. Well, I'm not supporting that. <laughs> so, I think that you are the one who's saying that he could. I right? well, this is what I'm I'm saying that if you're saying it's not okay for him to screw his dog, yeah. then I say, well, a human being and a dog are two different things. You say, well, the DNA is so similar. Then I say, well, why isn't it okay for him to screw an animal with such similar DNA? I'm saying it's not okay. I, mean, I know. Why isn't saying. it? Why is it not? Oh, well, because the dog didn't uh, probably didn't consent to that. Well, how do you know the dog couldn't communicate? I don't know. I guess that's a ju- it's a value call. I think in that case you would find I it, mean, look, you would find it you would find likely a jury would take your side for rescuing that uh, What that if animal. Jazzy was like flirting on you and you just like were like, "No, Jazzy, no," but she just <laughs> wouldn't let up, you know? And <laughs> and then she like whimpered in the corner like, "Why why did you refuse all of my sexual advances?" I mean, sometimes you have to think dogs are communicating, right? I mean, dogs they are. are telling they people are. things how do i know i'm Maybe. not in this guy's house i have no right to go into his house and You're find right. out what he's doing with his dog and by the way what if he's doing it in the got backyard bigger problems yeah i agree with that you're right there the dog doesn't <laughs> hey so, Zach, well, go ahead. animals look we raise animals to eat them i yep. have a refrigerator full of beef and pork and chicken i don't care what those people have to do to those animals to make them tasty food on my dinner plate okay if they screw the chickens to death well i'm a little grossed out by that but they taste good and they keep me healthy and they help me lose weight when i went on the low carb diet so i'm not going to go back to eating pasta and being fat so that chickens can 
live better lives. That's a utilitarian argument. I'm afraid that that's that's the arguing. What am I gonna? How am I gonna get my cotton? Hey, we need u- utility in this world. And Zach, there's thanks a, for bringing the conversation up. I appreciate it, uh, and thanks for the call tonight. I didn't want to get through the entire show here. We teased it all night. You took a gun into the state house. How did you feel, Chris Cantwell, from New York? I was terrified. Okay, so I've gotten quite used to carrying my gun, but like this was going your first into- time. Doing this. My first time going into the legislative office building in Concord, where we go and we mm-hmm. speak to the legislature, and we go into these little hearings and talk to them and we did give it all testimony. Day, yeah, today. yeah. So we, uh, you and I, attended three different ones. One was on one was uh, about making the motor vehicle inspections twice or uh, once every two years. Another one was about uh, t- this that one was funny. System. That was the first one we went into, and I thought it was so funny because like my automatic position is that I oppose the government, right? So when I walked in there, they want to make they. It's a bill to lessen the restrictions on vehicle regist- uh, uh inspections, and I was for it. But when I walked in there and they ask you like, "Hey, are you for or against this?" And I'm like, "I'm against it," just yeah. instinctually. <laughs> but then I was like, "No, wait a second, I'm in support of the bill." Because in and New York, how often would a proposal come up to eliminate uh, you know eliminate government? It'd be absolutely unheard of. And by the way, <laughs> if I went to go look at it, I'd have been killed because I'm open carrying a 38. Did, did anybody even look askance at you for carrying the gun? Not. At all so like i was at first kept my jacket on while we were in there right? right and i was a little like worried like i i still like for all of these years i've been told that the gun is you know you can't have it i i finally took my jacket off and nobody looked and i was like what planet am i on <laughs> New Hampshire. Planet New Hampshire. Go learn more about it at 101reasonsfilm.com. That's 101reasonsfilm.com. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow night online. In the meantime, that's right. Things 101. Are, that's right. Things are different here. See you tomorrow night online. In the meantime, freetalklive.com. Check out ChristopherCampbell.com as well when you get a chance. See you tomorrow. Geico. Attention. Have you been in a serious automobile accident? then you need to call our attorneys now. We specialize in helping our clients get compensated for major auto injuries. If you've been in any type of car or motorcycle accident and you've been seriously injured, you may be entitled to significant financial compensation. Our attorneys have recovered millions and millions of dollars for injured clients. There are no out-of-pocket costs to you ever. We only receive a fee when we win your case. We are available 24-7. If you've been in an accident and been seriously Seriously injured, make this free call to our attorneys now. Call the Personal Injury Center at 800 648 9173. 800 648 9173. 800 648 9173. That's 800 648 9173. This ad is paid for by participating member law firms. We are not an attorney referral service. Representation may not be. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Cop Block Radio is up next, live after the news, on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. From Keene and the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Wednesday, January 28, 2015. Silver is trading at $17.96 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,289 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $259. 
Antiwar.com reports claiming earlier in the day that Hezbollah had fired a pair of rockets at Israel doing no damage and causing no injuries. Israeli artillery and warplanes attacked Syria on Tuesday, confirming direct hits of several army posts. Israeli officials insisted the rockets that landed in the Golan Heights were a blanket violation of Israeli sovereignty and that they considered Syria responsible since they are allied with Hezbollah. They offered no explanation for why they figured Hezbollah was behind the initial rocket fire. It is true that Hezbollah was looking to retaliate against them after Israel attacked Syria recently, killing several of Hezbollah's top anti-Islamic state leaders, but the group seems like it would be able to muster more than just a couple of stray rockets that did not damage anything. There are still no reports on the extent of the damage on the Syrian side, though with multiple army bases apparently targeted, it is likely that the Assad government's anti-Islamic state capabilities just took another big hit from Israel, who has been attacking off and on for months now. You can support FPP Radio by joining the FANS program. FANS are friends, allies, and numerary supporters. FANS help FPP afford to produce more original content. To learn more or to join the FANS program, visit fans.fppradio.com. That's F-A-N-S dot fppradio.com. Reuters reports after former NSA contractor Edward Snowden reportedly leaked the source code, security experts on Tuesday said a program used by U.S. and British spies to record computer keystrokes was part of a sophisticated hacking operation in more than a dozen countries. On Tuesday, researchers at security software firm Kapersky Lab said that much of that code, published this month by German magazine Spiegel, matched what they previously found in machines infected with Regan, a major suite of spying tools Exposed in November. Lead Kapersky researcher Kostin Rayu said that the keylogging program, called QWERTY, would work only with Reagan and that it appeared several Western countries' spies had been using Reagan over the course of a decade. He told Reuters, multiple attacker groups are using the Reagan platform, which is a new conclusion for us. Spiegel and other publications reported earlier that Reagan had been used in the hacking of the Belgian telecommunications provider Belgicom, which slides provided by Snowden said was targeted to enable spying on mobile phones in Europe. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. UPI reports an employee of an obscure Defense Department intelligence agency has admitted flying a drone while drunk and being behind the White House crash. The Secret Service said the man called to report he was behind the security breach in the small hours of Monday morning. An agent patrolling the grounds heard and saw the two-foot quadcopter just after 3 a.m. The Secret Service said the man reported he had been drinking with friends in an apartment near the White House when he decided to give a friend's quadcopter a spin. He he sent friends text immediately after the crash that he was afraid the quadcopter, which cost hundreds of dollars, had gone down on the White House grounds, but only learned when he woke in the morning that his fears were justified. The man who was operating the drone self-reported himself after seeing news stories of the crash. While his employer, the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency, has a broad mission, officials said his job did not involve drones. Brian Leary, a Secret Service spokesman, said initial indications are that this incident occurred as a result of recreational use of the device. President Obama was thousands of miles away on an official visit to India at the time of the drone crash. He told CNN the incident shows the need for intelligence regulations of drones, citing their use in firefighting, wildlife protection, and possibly soon to deliver packages to Amazon customers. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. Following morning reports indicating that Philadelphia High School for the Performing Arts student Samantha Bylum deals with really weird social pressures on a daily basis, Onion reporters met with the 16-year-old dance student who described feeling regularly alienated from her peers for extremely bizarre reasons. If you're not up to date on the latest Urban Street Art or Esperanza Spalding albums, the other students will eat you alive. 
it can get pretty brutal. Just the other day, everyone cut class to go watch the Million Dollar Quartet musical at the Forest Theater, but nobody told me. Now I'm the only one that hasn't seen Lance Guest's rendition of Folsom Prison Blues. It's humiliating. According to Bylam, the school year shows no sign of letting up as she continues dealing with the everyday stresses of auditioning for the school's production of My Fair Lady, keeping up with the latest punk Afrofusion dance groups, and not having enough fishnet sleeves to wear throughout the week. Honestly, I don't know how the other students deal with it. Keep checking theonion.com for more as this story develops. This is the Onion News Network. Top Lock Radio, it's Wednesday, January 28th, 2015. We're live, hosting this show from Keene in the Shire. Joining me, well, this is Sarah J. I'm a Damo Freeman. I'm Dio. Dio! Yo, what's going on, Dio? Uncle Dio in the house. Good to see you, man. Love you, Uncle Dio. So, uh, we do this show live every Wednesday from 10 to midnight Eastern Standard Time, and you can check it out at copblock.org. We've got a link on the main page. You can check that out right now. And if you go there, you'll see that there is live video, uh, audio, and a chat room where you can interact with other listeners. You can also dial in and share your stories. Cop Block Radio on Skype or dial 413-418-COPS. We've got some news stories for you and some big announcements. Before we go anywhere, we've got Alex on the line from Florida. You're first. Go out. Go ahead, Alex. Alex. Can you hear us now? Now he can hear us, so uh, we'll just put you back on mute for a little while and uh, wait until we get that connected. We'll get that sorted out with you. How you doing, Dio? Pretty good, man. Pretty good. We got uh, a lot of stuff going on, man. Lot of <laughs> I can't wait to hear some of the announcements. <laughs> well, yeah, let's get right into that. You got some uh, big announcements, right, uh, Adema? Well, I don't think it's me. I, I hope it's us because uh, <laughs> I'm trying yeah, to get you know, right. with me. So, and and sure, this one, I just, right. I mean, you know. uh, all of us. And so I, I hope there's uh, big Good point. plans in the future for everyone that's involved in, in Cop Block. But essentially, uh, you know, maybe before I, I get into that, I think uh, mentioning that Cop Block just had a birthday and is a milestone it's five years 2010 yeah. january yeah Woo! Woo! Um, right coplock.org was founded um it was a tumblr blog at first and so uh the first post to coplock.org was actually uh february 22nd ish but i just blogged about that today and so it's uh five years in the making who would have ever thought that like all these awesome things that go on from the website the radio show the offshoots uh, gear, swag, and support that's happened. It's like awesome. Um, you know, everyone deserves a big round of applause for themselves. And so, uh, mentioning that about two years ago, I had come up with an idea that I thought would be, uh, innovative for a number of reasons. And, uh, those I'll touch on, but the idea is cop block protection. Woo. Yeah. What is that? What is cop block protection? Well, cop block protection would be uh, hopefully Derek J and I, and uh, or is at this moment Derek J and I, who will build a team of qualified what we're calling cop block protection specialists, and they will provide services to individuals who have police interactions um, that are essentially donating to uh, cop block protection monthly. You know, they could do that in a one payment, monthly payment, whatever it might be. And so, for example, for as little as like $7 a month, uh, if you ever have a police interaction, uh, a coplock.org uh, specialist like myself or Derek or Dio there with his rockin' I record yep. cop shirt. Look at that. That's the hoodie. I love that one. You like that, right? Yeah, that one's you awesome. Like that. I wreck cop. I wanted to try to like switch it up tonight, so I tried to wear something different because I'm always wearing the logo shirt. So. That's right. Well, I'm glad you did because I pulled out the logo today. So, I, know, I got you. I see that. <laughs> so if a, uh, if a cop block protection member ever has a police interaction, they will be able to call uh, uh, their cop block uh, specialist and tell them the story. And hopefully through like the newsletters and the content that is created uh, via cop block protection specialists, they'll be informed and uh, uh, armed with knowledge, the client or member uh, and they'll have a video or badge numbers or information, and they know what to look for. And so you will compose this uh, information into a blog post. We'll do media pushes, uh, press releases, 
And for some of the higher levels of memberships, you could even go as far as getting a cop block protection specialist on the ground with you where you live to help you uh, get some transparency and hold uh, people accountable. In a nutshell. Well, that it's sounds brilliant. great. I didn't even know about that last point. Yeah. Uh, well, um, you know, the idea here is not just to like provide a basically like an insurance type. Last time I launched this, I did catch some flack about uh you know oh cop blocks for profit now and they're only going to blog about police stories if you pay them not the case at all uh <laughs> what what we would like to do is essentially this is a a uh, glorified donation i guess i don't know if that's the right term if i like that term but uh you're going to donate you know seven fifteen or fifty dollars a month to coplock.org and as a thank you for that donation we're going to promise to help you if you have a police interaction and we hope you don't and if you don't, uh, we will spend your funds to further the cause and the message that badges don't grant extra rights. Uh, I mentioned a newsletter that will be produced every month, a members-only newsletter, that will not only provide tips, uh, share stories of the past month, but also be transparent about uh, the bottom line, the funds, what we're doing, and uh, uh, a number of things. And so some of the ideas on the plate right now are to you know, get a bunch of more cop lock uh, specialists on board, so that they can even uh, assign the daunting task of uh, submissions that come to the website, uh, further the educational aspect, and possibly even grow um, our reach through you know various advertising outlets or uh, media appearances. So making our own content as well, you know, video shows. I got I got a whole list and a whole Google Drive full of ideas. So that's very exciting. I want to hear more about it. First we have a call on the line from area code three zero seven. Caller from the area code three zero seven, you're on Cop Block Radio. Go ahead. Oh, oh. I love I I love that. Keep keep calling with like uh babies crying in the background. I, that's my favorite. I so, used to be afraid to get on the radio too. Yeah, sometimes it's a lot of pressure. We we get people who call in and they're like, oh, I'm a little afraid. Plus, it's not exactly clear. You know, this is uh, one of the first times it's been posted to the main page. So, you know, you can call in and chat with us via 413-418-COPS. You don't need to do that to listen. You can just uh, go right to the main page of coplock.org, uh, click the video button or the audio up at the top, and you can listen that way. So you don't need to call in via Skype or on the our Google Voice line to um, just listen to the show. You can do that either at lrn.fm or at copblock.org. So, Dio, uh, your reactions? What's what's going on in your life? In your world, uh, cop blocking. Just trying to just trying to keep police accountable here in the greater Cleveland area, man. You know, we got uh, there's some there's going to be some protests down this weekend down in uh, Columbus and uh, Beaver Creek. And uh, we're, I'm going down to Columbus and Beaver Creek for, for the protest. To, uh, Ohio stands against corruption on uh, Saturday. And then at the Beaver Creek Walmart again for John Crawford with uh, Virgil and Mika and those boys out there. Yeah, tell me what's going on with that. That's Op John Crawford, right? And uh, yeah. there are some people who – are they protesting at the Walmart or at the police station? I wasn't exactly clear on I've, that. Think, from what I understand, and Mika has more of the itinerary, but I'm he's. From what I understand, it's at the it's at it's actually at the Walmart. Okay. Yeah, that was uh, that was strange. I know there was some controversy about that. Some people were saying you should be at the police station. Uh, well, it, yeah, I mean, you know, there's there's also an argument going on between people right now about whether or not, you know, protesters should be trying to affect private business and stuff like that. I mean, instead of you know. I mean, I've always been in well, the effect. Well, sir, yeah, didn't, you didn't should this be. action happen in the Walmart, right? Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. But, but, but what do you like expect the, no, no, no. Walmart to no, say? Like, not oh, like, cops, you're not allowed in like here to rescue somebody. Out. Yeah, well, I this, mean, this they is got the case. A, they're I, responding to a call. This was the case where yeah. the guy had the BB gun, right? Yeah, he was holding a BB gun right. in the Walmart. Yes. They got the cop wasn't pointing at anyone, but somebody 